Hi everyone, I'm Rusty Dog, and fuck off YouTube. Right, we got here in the end. I don't know what the hell all that was about, but it refused to start. Uh, but at least we're here now, so I'm, I apologise that all your chat in the original one got uh, missed. Um, so if you need a shout out, uh, just pop a hello in the chat and I'll call your name out live on the air. Yeah, I don't know what went wrong. Um, at the first stream, when I started it with OBS, uh, instead of getting a nice green button to tell me that my throughput bandwidth was good, it was giving me the red one with no kilobytes per second. I was getting nothing at all. So I rebooted my PC, I rebooted the router, uh, everything. And that seemed to have sorted that. But then I just, I couldn't go live again, so I just had to make a new stream with a new key. Oh man, the things I have to go through. As if motivation wasn't already an issue. I have to go through this BS. Okay, so um, yeah, I might start cursing a bit, and I don't care. <laughs> the important thing is that we're here now, right? So, yeah. Alright, so, we're going to be doing... Um, or I'm going to be doing, the community goal. I'm sure um, some of you have already started on this. Um, I'm going to go solo on this one, God, um, so it's just going to be me. So no, uh, no wing crew. I've had a few people asking me about winging up, but um, uh, thanks, but um, I prefer to do these solo. It's, yeah. Two people on one ship, nah. I, <laughs> it's a bit selfish. I just want the credit for it. So, I, I'm interested in this CG because of the reward. It's a different reward. And it kind of piqued my interest. I say piqued it, minimally piqued my interest, uh, which is at least something in Elite Dangerous these days. Um, but yeah, this is cool because there's this system here, which is not that one. But it's the system that I'm currently in at the moment, which is this one. So it's HIP 54530. Nominantly, that's a new word. Nominantly, it is um, normally, I don't know what the hell I was trying to say there. Normally, it's permit locked for reasons only known to Frontier. Um, and when you accept the CG, they give you a temporary permit into HIP 54530. And the idea is to go here and do uh, conflict zones. So you've got the combat bonds. Um, and if you make it in the top 75, then you will be given that permit um, permanently. And I want that permit, Play it plain and simple. Now, I've already been out and done a couple of runs yesterday. The first run wasn't enough to uh, to get me into the top 75, which was kind of cool, and because it made I had to do a bit more work to do it. The second run uh, got me into the top 75, but I know as the tiers go up, I'm going to want to stay there. I don't want to drop into 76% or 77 I want to stay here. Um, so I need to put a little bit more work in. I want this permit. Um, I don't know if it'll ever come on offer again, and it'd be a nice place to have a base, wouldn't it? <laughs> I don't know, how, but there's going to be a lot of people taking part. Um, so, yeah, I I kind of want to be here. Now, in this system, I'm going to show it to you now. We have uh, one of these square things, and we have one of these, two of these triangle things. So, if you are doing the CG for the silver something of something, then you have to hand in your com combat bonds here, silver legal group, there you go. And if you're doing it for the Jupiter division, you hand in your your uh, bonds in this place. Now, I have uh, in here, in the Iron Wings of Justice, uh, I just picked the first faction that I came across. I didn't really have any particular reason for picking this one. Um, but I picked this one and I, I came over here in my crate, the one that has the plasma stuff on it, which was kind of cool. It was all right. But I felt that Merlin could have done better, my, my Corvette. So I shipped Merlin over. But Merlin can only land 
here at Northrop because uh, Victory's Forge and Iron Wings of Justice don't have shipyards. Well, at least this one doesn't, so I'm guessing neither of them do. So I couldn't transfer the ship here. So then I, I swapped over and I did the second run with Merlin until my um, multi-cannons ran out. And I made a bit more money. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm currently in my corvette, the back of Merlin, and we're going to go out and I'm going to go into the high, high res, not the high res, the high, the high intensity conflict zone, and I'm going to have a, a few bashes there with that one. Then I'm going to switch to the crate, which is a whole different animal completely, um, and we're going to have a go in that one, just to keep me up in that top 75, and yeah, that's going to be about it. Uh, I think I've got enough to synthesize my multi cannon ammo as well, but we'll see. We'll see how many I've got because it's easy to come back because these distances from the conflict zones are not very far. Um, and uh, yeah, I, it's another permit I want to add to my thing. The question is, when did when did Frontier permit lock this? Has it always been permit locked, or have they just done it recently and then created a CG around it? Either way, I like this idea that you can do a CG to gain a permit. I quite like that. They should do that for more systems. Systems that have been permit locked for a while or, you know, I like this. Yeah, it gives you something to aim for because I'm sure many of us have got plenty of uh, permits in our list um, and I'd like to get all of them that's possible to get. I don't know if I have all of them, but I think so. Um, also, before I start, all pending applications to the Hounds of Rustyville have been attended to. I do apologise for the delay on that one. Okay, so let's get to the chat and see who's with us before we take off. And, uh, yeah, kill a few poor people. So, uh, who was first onto the previous chat? I think it was Jeffrey Montegrifo, I think. So, yeah, hi, Jeffrey. <laughs> so let's go through Agile Vandermeer. Hi, Agile. Uh, uh, yes, welcome. And Angry Citizen. Uh, good afternoon to you, to you, sir. And yes, and to everyone from Thor. Commander XLA, greetings to you. Uh, and to Sagebrush Bob, we are back indeed. Jason Lavello. Hi, Jason. Um, a few of us were. F fiving till you got there in the end. <laughs> yeah, it's I don't know what the hell, you know. I didn't do anything different on this stream than before, and yet it just didn't want to kick in. I think I've got the YouTube chat on the stream sorted out as well, where the the size and the length and everything. I think that's better than it was. Commander Steve Zodiac, welcome to you, uh, and to Cosmic Drifter, uh, Rusty Dog. Oh, that's me. Uh, India Calver, hey India, welcome, hey, hey, hey. Um, Dave Howarth, hi Dave, welcome. Kathina, greetings, greetings, greetings. Aop, uh, Aop, lads and lasses, hi. Anthony Struss, hi Anthony, welcome, welcome sir. And Andy K, well boom, yes, definitely, with you right there. Loot, hey Loot, how are you doing? Uh, Star Lost. Hi, Star Lost from Las Vegas. Hmm, cool. Nevada. Shuggy Din. Hi, Shuggy Din. Uh, Commander Shuggy D is still waiting for access to Thor. Really? No, I, I processed yours. I remember. Yours is definitely done. Uh, I can double check it if you like, but um, there's no more pending applications. Um, but you're definitely done. I did it like two days ago, I think. Um, Jayesh. Hi, Jayesh. Good afternoon. And uh, Eddie Ryan took me about s 7 million in bonds to hit 50%. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not far from that. I'm like 4 million in already. Let's see if we can hit 50% today. We should be able to. Uh, Dave says, just for your information, you'll be able to get the permit afterwards from the two mega ships." from the two mega ships that are going to leave the system. Yeah, this one is leaving for another system, but hey, I can just go into that system and still get it, right? 
Like I, I know that this the mega ship I'm on is going to be leaving for. It's up here somewhere. What have I done with the name? It's right next door here. It's called Sao Tac. It was here a second ago. Hold on. Somebody's stolen it. There it is. So the, the mega ship I'm on is going to be heading towards this system. It's going to do a massive jump of eight light years. And I'm guessing if I miss it from hip, I can uh, go to Sao Tac and pick up my, my permit. Because after the... It makes sense. It makes sense because when the when the community goal ends, um, I guess our permits get revoked uh, and we can't stay in that system, so we're going to have to leave. And then the only way we can get back in is to go to South Tac and pick up our permit. So it all makes sense. And the mega ship is destined to leave automatically when the... Uh, or both mega ships are destined to leave automatically once the uh, community goal ends. So, all looking good so far. Picard 2005, welcome, welcome. I like, what's that little character there with the green fingers? That's a weird one. Or maybe he's got three carrots. I don't know. Right, uh, do a system in the Coal 70 sector. What do you mean by that? Do a system. And then Commander XLA says this. Uh, Commander XLA, were you saying this to Lute's comment or Dave's comment? I know, I'm lost. Jack Morris. Hi, Jack. Welcome to the stream, sir. And Simon Rainbow. Hi, Simon. Welcome to you. Freaky deaky dude. Yes, you f you are certainly are freaky and a little bit deaky. Uh, how am I doing? I uh, just got here. I missed anything. Nope. I was just killing time till you got here. Uh, Saw 104. Greetings, Saw. I loved all your movies. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just in that kind of mood. Um, yeah, good movies, Saw, actually. They were okay. Uh, Roland 106. Cool. Have we got anybody with a 105 name? We've got a 104 and a 106. That's kind of coincidental. Hey, Rick Midkiff. How you doing, man? Did I really hear that? What, me dropping an F-bomb, was it? Or, because, yeah, you really heard that. <laughs> I'm pissed off with YouTube. <laughs> it's, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't like me. Uh, Aquatic. Hey, Aquatic Borealis. Welcome, welcome, welcome to you, sir. Yeah, Commander Totally Dead. Oh, it's so nice of you guys just to keep giving up your Sundays to come here. It's just, yeah, so nice. Commander XLA, after you probably need to get to be an ally of the faction and get the permit in the normal way. That's okay. That gives us something else to do. Where do you go to get the temp permit? Okay, so you have to just accept any of the community goals. The moment you accept the community goal, Rick, um, you'll be given the uh, you'll be given the temporary permit for the duration of the community goal. And then of course, if you hit the top 75, which should be fairly easy to do, um, then you will be granted that permit permanently, which I don't care what other rewards they have, uh, the permit's what I, what I want. You should have it automatically. Yeah, I would have thought so. I would have thought so, yeah. It would have been, it just makes the life a lot easier. But if we, ha if I have to do it in a normal way to get it, hey, I'm cool with that. It gives me a little bit of extra. But surely the point of doing this is to earn that permit, right? Frontier development should do system permits more often. Yes, they should. And all the, some of the ones that they blocked off in the uh, Orion Nebula region, for reasons, again, known to no man, unless you are Frontier developer or David Braben. Uh, it has been bloody ages since you've caught me live, India. Yes. So, what's your excuse? <laughs> Iron Lady will be there later today. Cool. Uh, yeah, you get on it. Get on in this one, man, because it's. I don't know when this permit's going to come up again. Uh, Dra. Oh, how do I say this one? Is it Drac the Seventh? WDA. Drac Seven, or Drac V? <laughs> it's got to be one of those doing this conflict zone with a crate and my friend is yeah I, I'm I'm going to be using both today a Corvette and a crate um, 
I really, really wanted to bring the crate on this one because it, it's a fun ship with the plasmas, but yeah, it's there's. N I wish there was more big ships in these conflict zones because that's what the crate wants to be going for the big ships taking on the small ships is just a nightmare with those plasmas but yeah so anything that's i don't know say asp explorer or um federal dropship kind of size upwards is what i want to be taking on task uk hey task uk uh, yeah greetings to you uh what is in the permit system that is worth it um i don't know Probably maybe nothing, but it's the fact of having that permit that I can go into a system that people who didn't take part in the CG or didn't make the top 75, which is going to be weird, uh, that they can't get in. But I don't know, there's there's a base here and there's there's a, a landable with a base there, another one there, and you can see it for yourself. I mean, I obviously had to map this when I got in because I didn't have the map for it already, um, but there's nothing special that I can see I mean most apart from this moon or this gas giant and, it, and its moons it seems that all the other planets and moons are sorry I'll say that again all the moons on all the other planets are, are landable every single one of them so I don't know if there's anything I don't know if there's anything cool here or not um, yeah I don't know but it's it's just to have the permit you know what I mean that's all um, okay, Athena, I got it when I logged in, got a message saying I had it. Hey, eh? What did you have? A permit? I don't know. Sagebrush Bob, temps here, minus six with 20 cents. Oh yeah, we've had a bit of cold weather. I think we're going to be in for warmer weather from tomorrow onwards. Warm by UK standards, not by my standards, but still, anything's better than, you know, than what we've been getting. Uh, let me get the popcorn. Okay, I'll wait. <laughs> Rick says, on one of the factions, uh, shut down the system. Look, a CG wording. Uh, what? <laughs> Sorry, Rick, I didn't make that one out. One of the factions shut down the system. Oh, right, okay. Oh, one of the factions shut the system down. I haven't read all of the wording, to be honest. I I just looked for what was the reward. That's all I looked for. So I am a bit guilty of not reading that. Um, yeah. But thanks for straightening me up there. <laughs> and filling, filling me in. That's interesting. They shut the system down. All right. That's kind of weird then. One of the factions shuts it down, but no matter which side you fight on you get a permit back. Shouldn't it be just the... Maybe they should do a CG where there's actually two active sides fighting against one another. And you pick either the Silver Legal or the Jupiter Division. And if you've backed the wrong party, you don't get the permit because you didn't win the war. And if Jupiter Division wins... Like, there should be two CGs, one for Jupiter, one for... There is, isn't there? Yeah, there is. There's one for Jupiter, but whoever gets the most, whoever reaches the top tier first, they're the ones who should get the permits. <laughs> that would, uh, that would be, yeah, dip, yeah, that would not please half the people. Uh, yes, I was just going to say what Kathina said there, Jack. What is the best ship to fight? It depends. Like, uh, it depends which is your best combat ship that you have. Um, because you can have a crappy anaconda build and a fantastic crate build and the crate's going to wipe out the anaconda any day. So kind of depends on your build. Um, but best, best? Taking into account engineering and everything? I don't know. Cutter? Corvette? Anaconda? It's one of those three. If you take into account maxing out everything, I don't know. T I, I, I'm going to include type 10 in that just to just so Kathina can be happy <laughs> <laughs> they should open up the Barnes loop area yes yes I know they should or at least do it through a CG um, oh, I'm going to have to get you through your chat I'm a manic depressive I sleep a lot oh. uh, okay that's not good but 
sleep is what I could do with, to be honest, a bit more of. Uh, in a medium zone, you get to kill Corbett's. Yeah, I was getting them in the high one. The only one that came in in the high one was, what do they call it? The captain's one. But he's a... Oh, I, ne I nearly said a naughty word there. He is a coward because the moment he gets a, a little bit of shield damage, you get this surge detected and he, he wants to escape. So I think for that, for the captain, you probably need a wing to get in there. I might try the medium zone though, if there's Corbett's in there. Uh, Drax says, as soon as the spec ops drop in, I die. <laughs> I like it when the spec ops drop in. It gives me a bit more of a challenge. Um, I take my Conda because she can kill fast. Yeah, Conda's a great all-round ship, though. It really is. Um, I could do with building a really good um, non-Thargoid combat anaconda. That, yeah, a really good, tough anaconda. I actually don't have one. It's really weird, but I don't have one. I forget about the Cold 70 sector. I've heard of it loot, but I, I forget. What's in there? A galactic brothel? I don't know. I am um, Jupiter Wind establish a shipyard with new unique ships. That would be nice. But you can't get access to them because you didn't get the permit. <laughs> right. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, who have we got now? Oh, you got the temp permit without even knowing about the CG. How does that happen? Um, Okay. Oh, thanks, Kathina. Yeah, just a, a combat build for a for a one that suits my style. You know my my style, right? So just yeah, and then just private message it to me, and I'll see if I can get it built. Right, let's get the hell out of here and go. So should we go to the medium one then? I don't know. There's a where are we? There's a medium one. We'll have a look in the medium and see what's in there. So how long have we been going? Oh, I, actually, I need to give you some desktop audio. There we go. And, yeah, 25 minutes and we're just taking off. Oh, the home worlds of the Goids. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I think this is the... This is the first time, isn't it, that Frontier have done a CG with um, where the reward was a was a uh, a permit. Well, good. At least they're keeping us busy with this stuff. So I haven't read all of this, I have to say, but it says there if victorious, each tier beyond tier one will provide a five percent reduction to outfitting at Northrop Enterprise in this system to those with access to the system, lasting for one month. So you get one month for every tier above 5%. So, uh, sorry, for every tier that <laughs> above one. So if you get to tier five, you got 25% reduction, correct? Um, on outfitting, not necessarily for the ships then, but at least on outfitting. And it says the top 75 of contributors will be allocated a permanent system permit. Now that's what I want. I'm not bothered about the discounted outfitting. Um, yeah. Um, the two factions have set out six-day campaigns, which will end early on Wednesday, the 17th of February, 3307. Yeah, that's it. Just sign up, and you can see I've already earned a massive 3.9 million. And I, I am in the top 75, uh, but I need... I got a feeling I'm going to have to push a little bit more just to stay there. So that's what I want to do. So uh, let's engage the super cruise drive and off we go. Hey John, I am back. Yes, I am back. So this is a, as you can see there, it's just popped up. This is a full multi-cannon build, but anybody who's familiar with my content will know that because if you haven't seen the bark of Merlin in action before, then you're probably new to this channel. So don't forget, I'm going to say it, I'm going to be a YouTuber now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and 
comment down below. That's another one. <laughs> I, I don't normally do the YouTuber thing. I just assume that everybody who's on the chat already knows how to use YouTube and knows what to do. See, I, I, I take you people for adults. <laughs> oh, yes. So, sma what is it? Smash that like button, guys. Smash it, mash it, hit it. I've been looking all over my keyboard and I can't find the like button anywhere. Oop. It's like, I'm like home trying to find the any key. Right, let's switch up the... Uh, Oh no, actually I've got to stay in full engines because I'm going to start from 10 kilometers out. Yeah, so Silver Legal. Sounds like a brand of cigarettes for some reason. Yes, massage the like button. How about that one? Uh, oh, oh, and the dislike button. We always forget about the dislike button. That's no good. We have to, we have to acknowledge there's a dislike. So yes, hit the like hit the dislike. Maybe I got a dislike for doing the YouTube thing. <laughs> it's YouTube. What do you expect? Yes. Like, dislike, don't care. YouTube is happy with either. Helps the algorithm. Just the same. Please forward all genuine grievances onto Rusty Dog, P.O. Box, I don't care. Right, off we go. So night mode, because it's night time, as you can see. And I will join the sil, oops. I can never get the hang of this, there we go. Right, let's have a look at all hostiles. Cobra, 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 Python's good, assault ship. Okay, so we got Python. Good to have you on the team, Commander. Yeah, you haven't seen me fight yet. Wow, those big guns at the top certainly took a little while to spool up. Gonna try not to waste my ammo here. I'm trying to get a bit closer to him without. I should have put Sirius on to control my pips. I, I, I don't seem to do that these days. I'm going to stay with default pips, I think, for now. I want to be a bit closer. I think these multi-cannons have only got a epoxy two kilometer range, which isn't great. Good night. Oops. The thing with the multi cannons, yeah, is the, is the range. You've really got to get quite close in with them. There we go. Two kilometers. And remind me, guys, when I switch to the crate, I'm, I know I'm going to forget. When I switch to the crate, I need to enable my um, my co-pilot. What is it with federal ships that they always like to ram you? Ooh, spec ops. Uh, I need to get more distance, I think. Did I get him? 2%. Bye-bye. Right. Cobra Elite. Where's the spec ops then? Ferdinand's. Bring it on, baby. 
actually they're quite a distance away. Elite Ferdinand's lovely. They've probably got hulls of steel, have they? And and shields of magnesium. Do you get extra money for these? For these guys, I know that they're going to be uh, using up more of my ammo. Now, who's the other guy hitting on, hitting on me? Man, they do take a while to. <laughs> to get the shields down. I didn't get spec ops in the uh, in the high intensity one. I just got the the captain, the cowardly captain. Shields down, buddy. Mine seem to be okay, even though I'm under fire from probably his uh, his ship launch fighter. Maybe I don't know what it is. Oh, I don't have any boost. I didn't leave myself any. He's not looking in the best of shape, is he? Ah. Well, if the other one stops shooting at me when I kill this guy, then I'll know it was a ship launch fighter, probably. Ooh, you were lucky there. Last go, then. So who's the other guy? Come on, hurry up and blow up. Ah, oh, you don't get any more. Um. Okay, we got Beta, Delta, and the other ones are right proper, Charlie. Beta. Something that. That's a. That's a. Uh, beta is a word that. Star Citizen doesn't know exists. <laughs> it's getting... Just means the game's getting beater and beater all the time. Pretty good shields for an Asp Explorer. I reckon they must have hired Kathina to build these things. Bye bye. And where's the other one? This guy's Delta. You don't really get any extra cash for this. <laughs> you be to believe it. Yeah. <laughs> and they don't seem to chaff either, I've noticed. They like shield cell banking, but not really chaffing. Better move because this isn't good for you. Come on. This joystick feels so smooth. It's nice that I can make such, like, s tiny gradual movements with it. And it's just, it's like butter. I love it. 
Come on, Spec Ops, in you come. Bye bye. Ooh, Federal Assault Ship, Elite. He's been having a go. Oh, you're welcome. Got a little voucher there, which you can spend at any. <laughs> Do I still go for this guy? If I take this guy out now, oh, they're all surging out. So I won the battle before we ran out of ammo. You still get money for the kills though. I don't think I made that much though. No, not even a million, jeez. It, okay, I think because probably it's, it's easier to win because it's a medium site. So maybe um, concentrate on the high one. You see, the captain, when he, when he, the cowardly captain, when he comes in, it's a, it's an elite corvette. But he's so scared, he runs away too easily. Hey, Sebastian, the hot sauce dude, and killer dog, and sand a little. Sorry if I missed you guys while well, I've been um, combating. Prismatic shields. Yeah, I don't know. I I like the um, I I like the the bi weaves, just because of their recovery time. Because if you lose your shields in here, or if they start, what have I just done? Or if they start going a bit low, um, it just takes so so long to recuperate them. So no, I'm I mean I'm using bi weaves right now, and you can see that they were standing up very very nicely. Okay, let's not go to the planet surface. No, okay, hurry up and cool down then. Can you only do these sites once a day? No, no, you can... You come out and you go back in, I think. Yeah, just a different instance. Yeah, I, I in the high intensity I did... I don't know, I think I did one point something million in one and then I did two point something million in the next one. Something like that. Four, three, I think if you, yeah, I think if you go out, because it, it's still, yeah, I don't know. I think if you go out and back in and create a new instance, I think you get another battle. I think so. I, 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 I do think that is the case. But, yeah, spec up sabers. That's what I was thinking. It, it just reminds you of an opticians or something. Raise your glasses. I wonder if uh, Spec Ops, Spec Ops, Spec Savers Christmas party, when they say raise your glasses, it's a whole different thing. Mm. Right, well, we'll, we'll at least bung this in. Iron Wings, uh, bit, go back to Iron Wings and bung in the, uh, the money we've made, which is, for the sake, uh, almost a million, another million there. Yeah, the spec up ships were good. No corvettes though. And I'm going to use the uh, the high one next time. Yes, my reputation uh, is now. This is now. This is a load of BS. This I'm going to submit. Right, Federal Navy ship. I guess. What does it say? You are being interdicted under military rules of engagement. Yeah. Okay. Fine. But from now, they just fly straight past me, and that's it. There's no dialogue, there's no element to this at all. It's like it's completely pointless. See? Used to be, oh, prepare for a scan, we're just going to check you out, thank you for your time, blah, blah, blah. Nothing. Nothing. And it just leaves me wondering, what the hell was the point? They're just going to surge out now. I don't know. I don't know why they can't attach some dialogue to this. It happened yesterday as well, this. Getting interdicted. Three, two, one. But I don't know what the hell it's for. Yeah, I, I know that, Eddie, but... You know, I don't want to sack the guy, because I'm trying to... I don't use him very much, but I am trying to rank him up. Um, a little, so... That's okay. He can have his cut. 
he does make a wicked bacon sandwich, so he can. As long as I, he, he makes a cup of tea when I ask. <laughs> Sounds like we're in a relationship. Get that bloody bacon on. Iron wings of justice. Sounds like something out of the Marvel world, Marvel universe, isn't it? Is it called? You're not going to fly very far with iron wings, though, to be fair. I'm going to weigh you down a bit, and if you fly in the rain, they, they might rust. It's not really good. Iron rings, not really a good idea. Aluminium would have probably been better. The aluminium wings of justice. Doesn't quite have the same ring to it, does it? Sao Tak. Sounds Klingon. Me? Eh? Oh, very dare you. Was I too far out? Docking request granted. Oops. No wonder I wasn't going up. I was pressing the wrong button. I keep forgetting which button it is for the for the thrusters, the vertical thrusters. We'll get there. We'll get there. Notice my reverse parking sensors aren't working. No beeps. Uh, repair? What did I need to repair? Oh, did I get... Did I have any hull damage? I don't know. Right, let's hand in what we have. And then we'll go visit the high one. And then when we've finished with that one, we'll pick up the crate and see how it handles it. So let's go to the contacts. And the combat bonds. And we'll hand that in. Incoming message. And if you want to know where you are instantly, go here and here. Because this, uh, for some reason, this updates sooner than that does. I don't know why. Has it updated? Yes, it has. Cool, cool. So, 4 million. 4.8 million. Okay, let's see if I can go for 10 million today. A little bit of a goal. And we'll go for the uh, for the high. Got extraction sites here as well. I always like those. Mind you, it, it is on a war footing right now. But look at these look at these extraction sites. There's not enough hazardous ones though. But the system is in war, which is good good. I wonder what state it's gonna be in when we've finished with it. Sorry, Commander Totally Dead, I'll have to make you jealous. I'm not using a hot ass, but I am using a Verpal. And it is, <laughs> it is by far and away the, the single best joystick I've ever, not even owned, but y used from anybody. It's brilliant. I know they're not on the cheap end of the scale, but my God, you get what you pay for. They are super quality. Um... Yeah. But yeah, Hotas... I don't know, it, I need a throttle quadrant now. I suppose I could use the one of my Thrustmaster. I could just turn it the other way around. But it's... The, the, the throttle, the moving forward and back is a little bit too... I don't know, it feels a little bit too too stiff, like there's too much friction on that.
Yeah, the Verpal is the... Um, I'm using the left-handed Verpal. It's just fantastic that there's another company out there other than Thrustmaster that make it, make, makes a joystick for left-handed people. And it's a bonus that the fact that, uh, you know, the Verpal do that, and it's a high-quality um, peripheral as well, you know, just adds to the, yeah, just adds to the bonus. It's brilliant. And, uh, yeah. And my Verpal comes courtesy of uh, Rick, who was in the chat earlier, who was amazingly, <laughs> got, he got this for me. And it's just the best thing ever. I think if I was right-handed, I probably would be trying out a Hortas though. I think there's an advantage to be had in combat there. Um, I, I mean, I don't know. I haven't really tried one, but there's got to be an advantage using a hot ass throttle over a <laughs> over a keyboard, right? You know. No, fire gods don't need permits. They've got. They just bribe the guards on the door, right? Oh. All right, so let's push forward on this one. So Jupiter, demoted to neutral. Ah. Reduced to cordial. Eh? Reduced to cordial? I've been fighting for you. And this one? Oh, back up to friendly. We'll make your mind up. Oh, please tell me you are... Uh, I can't maneuver my thing. There it is. Is it red? It is. Federal Corvette. It's only a master, but hey, I can't have everything. It's not the captain. Corvette versus Corvette. Hmm, I wonder who's going to win this one. Oh, yes. He was shield banking before he hit me, and now he's got no shields and 72% hull. Protect the Allied Captain. Oh, Gould. Footage? Footage? What are they doing in here anyway? Where's the Captain? War zone correspondent. War zone co there you go. You got well done, Commander. Oh booga. Well he's attacking my captain. As long as I'm taking ships down for money. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> it nothing annoys me more when you put all that work in, all that ammunition, and that they might just get away. Let's just take out the big ships and see where we are. I'm looking for a 
a ship that's already got the, the, the high rank as well. This one, then, I suppose. Gunship Deadly. He's nearly dead already, so let's see if I can get in on the action. Quick kill. No chance, boy. Next. Competent. Master. I guess Master beats Competent, right? So we'll have to go for that one. Where are you? Uh, what do you think I'm going to do? Yeah, I think... Oh, the Allied Captain, yeah. No, it's because they just they they just escape too easily. I'm sure he'll be fine. Not so sure about the Allied correspondence, but hey, they chose to come into a war zone, so. <laughs> I haven't signed any contract. I've just remembered something. In a conflict zone, if I start firing on a ship, does it make a difference in regards to me getting any help from my allies if I have report crimes against me on or off? Does it make a difference? I think I've got them off at the moment. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, it is off. I just wonder if it makes a difference the moment I open fire on somebody, will will any of the greens in this area come over and, you know, no difference at all? <laughs> Guess that's answered that then. Just curious. Come on, Federal Navy ship. Prepare to meet your builder. Shield cell banks didn't help you there, did they? Oh. Sorry. The ship has just hasn't got the grip on the turns. <laughs> Nothing at all. They do that it's like all the federal ships have got this habit of just heading towards you. It's like certain ships have got certain habits. It's nothing to do with the pilots. That looked like his shields were coming back on. <laughs> That'll contain the explosion, maybe. Oh, God. Thank you, Commander Bond. Federal assault ship. There's lots of these here. Gunships, drop ships and assault ships. Not not a single anaconda. No corvettes. Objective complete. I didn't even do anything, but okay. Allied correspondent survived. And I get a 50,000 credit bonus as if I actually did something. I'm not going to complain. He's trying to get his shields back, is he? Yes, don't worry, ship behind me. I can see you. Who are you? Oh, God, not a viper. Can't be bothered. Well, look at this dude. Zero, zero percent and no shields. Does that count? Does it count? Yes. I didn't know whether I would have to kill him. He had no hull and shields. 
Then he hit me and he lost all his shields and I heard him, I heard him crackling. Now this viper is really starting to annoy me now. Too much wasted ammo though. Oh, I've got a, I've got three ships on me at the moment. Why am I firing from that distance? Come on, turn round, I'll wait. Come on. Not for long. Expert. It doesn't really matter what um, what rank they are. I don't think you still get the same amount, right? So I'll just go for the easier ships for quicker kills. <laughs> I heard him crackling. Yep. <laughs> Probably didn't need to do that boost, but it's fine. Yeah, I should be more aware of when they're coming towards me, and then I can just hit the reverse gear. Can't hit reverse now because I'm, I'm still boosting. It takes ages for me to slow down. Bloody hell, come on! So many bullets and there's barely any damage. Cobra, Vulture's the biggest thing here at the moment. Yeah. I hate this, just small, small fry. I want bigger ships. There's not enough diversity in Elite Dangerous. Somebody tweet that one out. we doing on the um oh look at this guy how's he surviving <laughs> he's not oh oh i'm reading federal navy ship okay is that an elite eagle it is i don't i don't bother with these because this it's too much ammo wasting you've got to be pretty much right on top of them 
Um, what have we got so far? 1.7 million. Almost double what we had on the last one. Pretty much double. Oh, I'll take this one. Except for the fact that he's 12 kilometers away. He's got 3% to go. Can I get to him? Can I finish him? <laughs> Come on, push! My shields can... Uh, can rejuvenate later. Should be just one run, right? One strafe. Does a kill warrant scanner make any difference in here? That's another thing. Boom! Easy kill. If I kill warrant scan everything, am I getting any extra? I, again, I just don't know whether that applies in a conflict zone. Little things like this I still don't know about. After all these years. Doesn't. Ah, well. So that saved me two seconds then. Cheers, Kathina. So the money you get is just whatever it is based on the ship. Bad move. Great, I'm hitting all the debris now. That's my intention, Commander. I mean, this ship makes more money because it can stay on it can stay on its target more often than the crate can. But the crate can... The crate, with one volley of plasmas, timed right, can r rip off the shields in one go. Depending on the ship, of course, but it, it can. So... Doing it with this ship is less annoying. Right, which is going to get me the most money here? The Vulture, I suppose. Hi, Chris Chambers, and welcome to the stream. Yeah, all is seems to be relatively okay. Shaky start, but we got there in the end. And yeah, everything's not too bad. He's over there. Like a little wasp, these things are. Oh, that was nasty for him. So guys, if you if you had to spend a month in Elite Dangerous, right? A month game time, not real time. And you were only allowed to take three ships out of your fleet. That's it. You can only use three ships for the rest of your time for that month. What ships are you taking? I think for me it's going to be my Corvette, my hmm, my Exploration Condor, and probably my Type 9 because it's a mining and trade ship, so I've got all the three bases covered. I was going to say my Cobra 4, which is my kill warrant scanner uh, kill warrant scanner what am i talking about the one that scans all the the wake the wakes and all that kind of stuff i'd probably use those so you guys have got <laughs> no no i see i was expecting this for someone to go cutter cutter and cutter no three different ships unless you've got three separate cutters 
a trade cutter, an exploration cutter, and a combat cutter, then that can count. Type 9, Type 10, and Crusader. Yeah, I haven't thought about the Alliance ships. I only have three ships, so not really an issue. <laughs> Fair enough. That's an easy one for you, then. So, okay, Joe uh, Rod Jorgen. I was listening to Joe Rogan today on the um, from last night's UFC. Uh, two cutters and anaconda. I should have specified the roles as well. Conda Chieftain DBX, Crate Conda, and Diamondback. Uh, okay, three good ships. Python, Asp, and Python. <laughs> Again, you, you guys, come on. Three Cutter, Crate, Two, and Crate Phantom. Cutter Orca Type Ten. Anaconda. The Anaconda is getting some love, as it should. It's a fa it's an amazing, brilliant ship in this game. Chieftain and Explorer Phantom. Wow, what what light range are you getting on that on the on the Phantom? Cool. It's got one of the best names, hasn't it? Phantom. What a brilliant name for a ship. Cutter Conda and Corvette. Yep. Yeah. Fair enough. I only need two ships. Well, why? It, that's a good thing. Why the teary eyes then? Uh, Sander says Python, Type 10, and Cutter. D Diamondback Scout or a Vulture is fun. Yes, Vulture is a lot of fun. I, I love, I always have fun in the Vulture. You, you can't not until your canopy gets smashed through, of course. Crate Phantom, Chieftain, and Vet. White Cutter, Blue Cutter, Silver Cutter. See, it's, you're cheating. You're cosmically drifting out there. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I have a combat cutter and a mining trade cutter. I got tired of swapping internals. Yeah, I know what you mean. Crate Phantom, Crate 2, Asp Explorer, nice choices. Vet, Asp Explorer Type 9. Corvette, Crate, and Python. Crate and Python are quite similar, but if you have your ships outfitted for different tasks, then it kind of makes sense. Um, I've got a couple of pythons, but I think one of them is not really set up for anything at the moment. The other one is. Um, I think it's set up for mining, for the uh, mother loads, I think. Mother load mining, one of my pythons. I love the python. I just like the look of it. I like its capabilities. And I like the name. 71 light years on the Phantom. Wow. That is some, that's pretty damn impressive. Very cool. I wouldn't mind being out in the black with a Phantom, 71 light years. That's nicely respectable. Crate Phantom for explora exploration, My, uh, Python for mining, Python trader. Fine, absolutely fine. You don't need a canopy. No, you just need <laughs> that sign that we're seeing everywhere now. You have to wear a mask. <laughs> Aza Lacoma. Hi, Aza. How are you doing? Uh, I only own Crate Phantom and a half-built Anaconda. Need to get more credits to finish. Good. It shows your play. Sounds to me like you're playing the game decently. You've got an Anaconda, but not quite the credits. I was in that position as well many, many moons ago. You'll get there, and it'll be very satisfying when you do. Good stuff. Draco. Hey, Draco Maximilia. Uh, Conda for combat, crate for exploration, python for mining. I never thought about a crate exploration vessel, you know. Now, well, now that you, you've, a couple of people have said about the crate for exploration, I've never considered that for an explorer ship. Maybe I should look into one. I already have an ASP, which is kind of a budgety one. Then I've got the, I've got the anaconda, which is you know, 76 something light years. Um, but a crate hitting 71 is going to be like over 10,000 light years. You're only going to be doing like maybe a, a few jumps more, right? Uh, once I engineered the Python's drives, I started to like it. Python's a great ship uh, row. It really is. It's one of the best in the game. It's, it's not, it doesn't excel necessarily anything. There's always a ship that can do one particular thing better than a Python can. But all round is like a little Swiss Army knife multi-tool kind of ship. It's brilliant. It really is. You can outfit it for just about 
anything and it's really pretty good at it in kind of that mid-range area the the, kind of, the anaconda is the same deal it's just bigger it's like the bigger brother version i think for me yeah uh cosmic what are you, what are you going to do in distant worlds 3 well exploration <laughs> If I do this, I'll, I'll be doing Distant Worlds 3. Don't you worry about that. I'll be on that. Um, and I'll be taking my Exploration Condor. And hopefully we'll have boots on the ground. I'm not going to use space legs or anymore. F was it footfall? Boots on the ground. <laughs> that, that, uh, yeah, boots on the ground. Uh, hopefully that will be here. Uh, I, I, I can't see any reason why... The, the organizers of Distant Worlds 2 would even contemplate doing Distant Worlds 3 before Odyssey comes out. It's pointless. Just wait till Odyssey, wait till the bugs get sorted, and then let's get underway. I am all ready for Distant Worlds 3 with Odyssey. That is going to be pretty damn epic. Um, uh, Phantom is awesome for exploration. I'll bet it is. Uh, yeah. That's the good thing, Aza. Do not forget your buyback credits. Always keep a rebuy. Uh, I did a Phantom Explorer build. Oh, God. That was so long ago on the go then. Crate Phantom. Orca. Yeah. Orca. What, like, what uh, range can you get from an Orca then? I'll have to have a look at some of these. Phantom is great exploration ship. Let's, get, let's head back to... Um, because I'm, I'm the only one left. 2.2 million. I'm the only one left in this zone. I'm in a conflict zone all by myself. Con! Uh, let's have a look. Where are we? Oh my god, it'd be easier to do it from the system map, wouldn't it? Okay, what's going on? Let's go back up to the top. Sixty-six, sixty-eight on an orca. It's pretty good. So here's a question then. Let's see who knows this one. Engineered, okay, in any way that you need to do it in order to achieve it. How many ships, or which, not how many, but which ships in the game are capable of hitting 70 light years plus? So obviously we have the Anaconda, we've obviously got the Crate Phantom that can do it. 70 plus I I don't know I know some ships need more compromises than others oh DBX yes DBX of course this is what I like about the Anaconda though is I can hit 76 and a half light uh, light years and I've still got some nice equipment on board yeah, Asp, DBX, Phantom, and Conda. There you go. So we're looking at one, two, three, four. Four ships. Yeah. Conda does it better than all of them, I think, right? Because it has... You can ach you can still achieve 70... In, half into the 70s and still have, like... You know... Um, your twin SRVs on board and this is the first time I've seen ED since I joined you in the black oh really what since we were in Spirograph Nebula see I remember <laughs> well where have you been
I had a quick pop into um, Microsoft Flight Simulator the other day and it was so nice to get back at the graphics it just blew me away again brilliant it's so good C yeah my Explorer Conda can boost it, it can I don't know if it'll do it a second time you may have to wait a little but I, I can boost mine yes Kathina built it so it could do that because she she knew that I'd wanted it <laughs> I have to have my boost, even if it's just once, it has to be able to boost. It's because it, it that comes in handy for landing on planets with a little bit of gravity, and you want that emergency boost to be there for you. Mm-hmm, yeah. And someone like me would be in need of something like that. So what am I landing on? Pad 1? Here we go. Yeah, there are ships out there, I think, that if you if you want to get that kind of jump range, you have to compromise to that level where you can't do this, you, you can't boost, and you've got to make a lot, of, a lot of compromises. But the Anaconda, not so much. I think, I think the Anaconda build is, really, is a really good one. <laughs> yeah, I don't like non-boosting ships. Isn't it the case, though, that if you, you if you build an anaconda that doesn't boost, that you sacrifice, take all the carpets out, everything, that you c an anaconda can hit 80, 80 light years? Jump range, right? But you've got to strip the carpets out. Like I said, you you know, the, the, the coffee maker's got to go out. That's gone. Just weight saving. Right, let's hand this in. <laughs> What am I talking about? Federation ships haven't got carpets. That's just the cutters and the the Imperial ships of this world, which are definitely better. All uh, right. Let's hand this in. And this little 50,000 here with the Jupiter division might help my standing with them just a little. Not enough. Didn't change my reputation. But it's probably boosted it a little. Somebody with a normal name there. Susie Levy. Hi, Susie. So, what does that get me now? Am I still 75? I, I assume I would be. I don't think I'm going to be in the 50s yet. Oh, I am in the top 50. Well, fan my brow. 6.9 million and I'm in the top 50. That doesn't take too long. This is great. Uh, 83.4. Jesus, Andy, that's awesome. Yeah. Wouldn't you need to... Do you need to... Pl I was just want to say what Kathina's saying there. Do you need to plot a route? When you, when you plot a route in a ship like that, do you have to use the KGB foam stars only? Can you do more than one jump in that? Man. 83.4, that's pretty cool. That's a nice jump range, eh? Hopefully we'll get a ship in the game in the future that can hit 100 plus. <laughs> yeah, who knows? We might get some engineering in the future that can allow us to do that. Uh, right, I suggest that we now launch and go to Northrop. Where are you, Northrop? Northrop. Don't they make aeroplanes? Yeah. Let's go and pick up the crate and let's do some plasma slugging. No, not the carrier. <laughs> I'm talking about one that you can actually fly yourself Four. yeah you that's right Kathina what you've got to do if you want 83.5 jump range you have to go around and remove every other rivet leave one in take one out leave one in take one out 
Uh, it's a riveting experience, I tell you. But uh, it will be a little bit frightening. All out ranges and everything. It's true, it's not. It's nice to be able to just see what the maximum is, you know, to build a ship just to to go to that extreme. You know, it's like like building a car with like 2,000 horsepower. You know, you don't need that much, but it's just to, you just do it because it can be done. But no, 70 light years or even 65, something like that is very comfortable. And, you know, y you can build a nice, well-equipped ship for that these days and take your shoes off before you get in <laughs> yeah I wonder what the what's the worst ship what's what's the ship with the worst jump range including engineering is it good is it I don't know you might be surprised at the result it might be something like a cutter Maybe a sidewinder can outdo a cutter in jump range. Like, what would be the most useless ship you could take on, ex on an exploration trip? I know it's not just about jump range, it's about how many slots you have to put other stuff in. So, likely the sidewinder and the eagle probably would be the worst. Yeah, Corvette doesn't. Yeah, the Corvette doesn't do very well. I don't know. Like, kitted out as an exploration ship. I wonder what the uh, what the light uh, what the uh, the jump range would be on the worst ship. I'm expecting maybe something in the low 30s, maybe. I don't know. Oh, 26. Wow. Yeah. I mean, this this ship right now, this is a full-on combat ship, so it's not really built for anything like that, but it gets 29.5 jump range, and that is fully fitted out combat with hull reinforcements and shield, re uh, shield stuff and all that. Yeah, Ferdinand's, yeah. Because that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Well, I don't know about interesting. It would be very boring to take a further lance to Beagle Point. I think so. it's been done. I'm sure somebody must have done it with um, Distant Worlds 2. Somebody must have done that. Hey, Todd. Welcome to the stream. I hope everybody's keeping uh, safe and sound. Don't forget to smash that like button. <laughs> oh, God. I can't do that stuff. It's not for me. Right, Northrop. There it is, just that little tiny speck of light that we can see. I don't know. Sometimes I look at these names like Northrop, and I'm, I'm, as I'm approaching, I'm, my mind is trying to make an anagram of it. I, I don't know why. It's just my brain just doesn't stop. Right. So we're going. Which way are you rotating? I can't work this out. Uh, I know you are rotating, but you kind of. Are you leaving orbit? Let me go, let me go down here. Okay. So are we going this way? Oops. I don't know where the door is. I, I couldn't figure out the rotation there. Oh my god. It seems to have a, a route towards Shinrata Desra plotted. 
two four it is. Oh, gunship has the lowest. Wow. Right, so a gunship exploration trip to... <laughs> I wouldn't want to go too far. Or, here's another one. I suppose you could you could take the worst ship doing this if you chose, I don't know, forget Beagle Point, that's just extreme and a little bit crazy. But say Colonia in any ship, because it's not going to matter, using economic <laughs> route the whole way. Oh my god. And no neutron stars. Poof. Why am I... Why am I talking so sadistically? <laughs> okay, so... Uh, shipyard then. And we have a stored ship. There it is, the rusty crate. If anybody can come up with another name for this ship. And if, I, if, you, if, I, if it's a name that buzzes me, I'll change it. It doesn't have to be anything to do with Rusty or dogs or anything like that. Something that you think might buzz me. And then I'll, I'll rename this ship. Okay, so this one is using plasmas and it's a whole different ball game. Well, let's go. And for those wondering, 22.85 on the jump range of this thing. This is a whole different ball game when it comes to setting the pips up as well. Draconis Spiritus, Buster Ruckus. <laughs> oh, the game is ED, but the, yeah, I know. It's I know, Christian. We had some really. I don't know why the title should be called that. It should still be called Elite Dangerous, but I think it it still held the. Even though I changed it again, it still kept the truck simulator. Um, thumbnail. It's YouTube. It's just. It's it's YouTube's time of the month. No. Oh, pork scratchings. No, I need to go back in, Kathina. Thanks for the reminder. Forgot my toothbrush. Oh, don't hit the tower. Yes, let's get our pilot. Are we going to do a convoy in American truck? Hey, if there's enough people with American trucks in, and we, we should go into the, this multiplayer add-on thing. Yeah, let's get some... Uh, let's get trucking. Right, what am I doing? I don't know. Crew lounge. Right, 6% expert. We have him active now. Santo, hey, eh? Evan Vasquez. There you go. This handsome dude look with his strange hair. Is that Vin Diesel? What is going on with these faces? Look at the big blue earrings. Right, let's get off and head over to the nearest. Why are we all the way down here? Come on. Stupid, stupid interface. Where am I going? High intensity, have I missed it? I've been looking at res zones, that's why I, I thought I'd missed it. 
Uh. Okay, we're going. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Why? Why do you do this? You. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well. Twenty-nine percent shields down. Any good missions? I saw I didn't look, Dave. Sorry. You're all clear. Yep. Now, uh, now on the, on this ship, of course, I have the as I said the plasma accelerators, but I'm not going to run out of ammo with these because, uh, well, I'd have to run out of fuel first because I'm using the plasma slugs. And so they're going to use my fuel to re to re re thingy. Two, one, oh, that is nasty! Totally dead. I hate that when that happens. I've got a couple of things lined up. I've got um, I can't I can't buy it now. I've got to wait until you know, finances are, sort themselves out, but I've, on Green Man Gaming they've got F1 2020 which I've been waiting to get hold of for months and months and months, that's for £14 and something so I've got that one lined up and there's something else there's a Photoshop what do they call it? An, a script? An action? A Photoshop action? that I'm waiting to get, grab hold of that as well that is six something, I don't know, euros, dollars, I can't remember what it is, but yeah, I've got those lined up, uh, I want to do something with the Photoshop script, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I want to do something with one of the ships in the game with it, we'll see if I can, if it makes a decent thumbnail, but yeah, um, I I splurged everything out on Hitman 3 this month, so that was me screwed. <laughs> I have to wait now. I'll get um, F1 2020, and there's another one that I've got my eye on, and I can't damn well remember what it is. There's been a lot mentioned about this, um, is it Valkheim game? The, um, is it called Valkheim? I've heard, I know uh, Worth a Buy talked it up to be one of the best survival games, but since then I've heard other people saying very similar uh, very similar things. The best crafting kind of survival game, Valheim, yeah. It looks like it's got really good ratings. It's using, you know, those crude graphics you don't get, you know, simple, simplified graphics, let's say. Um, yeah, I've been playing Hitman offline to be honest. I've been doing the missions and not recording them. Sorry. I didn't think to put any more out because they weren't gaining any interest, so... Yeah, I've been piling through Hitman 3. I've done... what was the last one I did? I can't remember where it was. Oh, China, I think. And now my next one is Argentina. Valheim. Yeah, I think it's in early access at the moment. Red Dead Online. Yeah. I, I bought Red Dead Redemption a while back. That was cool. And I also have a video waiting to go out, which is the next map on SnowRunner, which I've done a video on. That's been sat on my drive for a couple of days. Oh, I know what the other thing I bought was. The um, Assetto Corsa British GT pack. That was what it was. Yeah, pricey month, man. Okay. Let's see how this one goes. So I think on this one I'm, I'm going to use 3-3. What is this? Oh, right. I wonder what that was. Right, okay.
Federal dropship. Oh, we've got a Corvy, a Master Corvy. I'll take on the Master Corvy. So, plasmas. Let's see how many shields I can take down in his in the first volley, if I can get close enough, and I can hit on target. Not bad. You guys prefer the night mode on or off? <laughs> it's the, it's just waiting for the reload of the plasmas that is is the thing. Ah. Uh. Sometimes I have, like we've got now, three, 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 three down on the plasmas there. And I, when I press fire, I still can't. It will not fire. Protect the Allied Captain. I'm too busy. My shields are holding up. Considering I wiped most of them out coming out the station. Come on, see? Out of ammo. I had to wait so long. Need a faster reload. Oh yeah, fighter. <laughs> Alright, let me finish off this vet and then I'll get uh, I'll get my guy out. See, I always forget. a starter motor onto a gearbox in CMS, I always forget it. Oh, Jesus, what's going on? Guys, I've got a very weird sound in my ear. Oh, it's gone now. Jesus, I just had a very deep bass sound in my ear. It's, what the hell was that? It's like I had it's like somebody just shoved a subwoofer in there. Right, off we go. Next one. As soon as I open up on this, my fighter will go in. I'm trying to get his damn shields down. Done. I don't know if that's gonna... Oh yes! <laughs> followed by a, a great shot, followed by an embarrassing miss. Well done. My shields will hold, they'll be okay. It's like I'm jousting with this guy. Very green, isn't it, this? got now drop ships okay go for a drop ship don't really want to go for anything too small the jump range in the Corvette was 29 I think it was a uh, pull but now I'm in my I'm in my uh, crate but yeah 20 29 point something I think it was anyway where am I going
My fighter's still out there. There you go. Shields down, just boom. The plasmas just kill shields. They're really effective against them. Top to heat sink, did you? I missed too many times with these, which is why I brought the Corvette. I find that uh, with the with the plasmas, I I miss more than I hit. Come on, load up. idea was to maybe ram into him there but that didn't work I, you see even at full pitch up I don't have the speed because I've got no pips into engines but when he's going above me like that it's the best time to hit him ah you, you green balls of uselessness said the Hulk. Not for long. Who the hell? I'm getting... I'm, I'm being attacked by another, another ship and it's absolutely crippling me. It's only a Viper though. And, uh, can you get your fighter to attack one ship while you attack another one? This is not really very good. I was in this uh, conflict zone yesterday with the crate and I had zero problems with shields at all. Mind you, I probably didn't have a scenario with two ships attacking me. But I think he's taken the other one off my back. The question is now, can these shields hold up? Before, that was a good shot, before I kill this guy. Oh, come on. Whoa, sir. Oh no. Elite Python. On my shields. Where is he? Oh shoot. I'm just gonna leave for a little while. couple of vipers were having a go there. I really wanted to have a go at that python. Maybe I can jump back. Maybe we can jump back over now. See if we can find it. Elite python, that would be a nice one to take down. Come on, shields. Gotcha. You go get him. <laughs> yeah, I got distracted there because I heard a beep and I thought it was my... Um... But yeah, that. I thought it was my flight assist switching off.
Ah, you plasmas. Badly timed. Good shot. Nice, nice. Come on, keep at it. Oh, lovely. Three in a row. Bye bye, Elite Python. Bye. Oh, I love that, um, <coughs> the visual of that. What's, what is it? Is it like a boom? That, the sound wave? Oh, I just got hit. Yes. Multiple hostile ships. This isn't a good one to go for because it's in a. This ship I'm heading for right now, the dropship, is seems to be in the middle of a load of other red ships. So that's the one we're going to go for. Oh, I got him! Look at that shields down. Brilliant from that distance and moving. Oh, my shields are taking a battering. I've got three ships on me. Which is the follow? I need to get out of here, otherwise, I'm going to lose my shields. So attack, target, engage, defend. Is defend and f defend and follow is the same thing, right? I think. I just need to build my shields up a little. Yeah, Shuggy, the f uh, my fighter is out. That's what that green thing is. It's my it's my fighter. So yeah, we are we are out. Oh. Okay, I don't know why he wasn't following me back, but there you go. Things that go boom in the black. <laughs> well, he's gone from 6% expert to 36. That's That's a really good jump. What the Oh, didn't mean to fire. Under attack. Where did this guy just jump in from? Bye bye. Shields down in one shot. There, yeah, the plasmas are nasty for shields. So it's it's two versus one now. Hopefully my fight is distracting this dude. Enough that I can... Just slightly out. Come on, Evan. Take him down. The impact sound is really nice. Of the plasmas. Target shields, Target shields what? Yeah, that's what I thought. Short. Sometimes I get lucky. He's got nobody out here to help him. I, ideally, I would need another pip in shields. Uh, sorry, in weapons, but. 
I don't want to. I want to keep my shields at full pips for now. Let them build up. Uh. And that's you. Don't worry, I will. Yeah, I, I couldn't find the follow one, unless I haven't got it mapped to a key. Maybe I have to do it... Um, see, that's... I guess this is... See, these are... Follow me and defend look like it's the same kind of thing because they're both blanked out. I don't know. Switch. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know if I fancy putting my AI in charge of this ship. Probably not. Wow, look at all the... Uh <laughs> it's like a... F but a lot of firing going on. Go take him out. Roger, Commander. Focusing my attack on your target. Two more seven to choose from, Commander. Let's make our shots count. My shots are going to count. It's your, you I'm worried about. Oh, if that had hit, it would have been brilliant. I might get him with one shot at some point. There we go. Point blank almost. I wonder if an anaconda could do with all of its uh, hard points, if an anaconda could do a full plasma build and not melt itself. Okay, Thena, <laughs> can it be done? Full plasma accelerator build with plasma slugs on an anaconda. Oh, the thought of it. Another python. Just getting all eight, is it seven or eight, plasmas on a permananaconda on target at once. Nasty. Absolutely nasty. Oh, six PAs. So what have you, what have you done other than the PAs then? I like having PAs. <laughs> to work for them. Stop it. Oh, that was a bad shot. Bye bye. Elite Exploder. Right. An Elite Asp Exploder. Target shields offline. All right, got another question for you guys. Nothing to do with performance of the ships or how good they are in battle or uh, exploration or anything. Forget all about that. In your opinion, what is the best designed ship in the game, or the best looking ship in the game? It's, of course, it's all a matter of taste. It doesn't have to be the cutter. <laughs> it's 
Sometimes the quirky designs are cool. Yeah, Kathina, you didn't even have to answer. I mean, I, yeah, I think we all knew. <laughs> I, I just think back to my cutter in that cobalt, what's it called again? Um, galvanized cobalt, that blue that I have it in. It just looks astoundingly damn good. Interior wise, I'm going with the crate, but only in VR. The crate's got the best VR interior. <laughs> Just because it is, I, I like the fact that there's cables everywhere and things taped up and it's just an old mess, but I love it. I love the fact that it does that. It's not like completely clean. But yeah, it's probably going to be the cutter for me. A ship I very rarely use. And the Python has got to be in with a shout even though I'm about to destroy one. Courier, okay, yes, Courier is a nice little ship, isn't it? And the Adder, the, yeah, is that the one that reminds me of the uh, Flash, the original Flash Gordon? I don't know why. My shooting's terrible, but at least my shields have come back up, which just shows how bad this python is at shooting at me. Oh, that was a bit too early. Yeah, I mean, the cutter's the big, the big mama in the game, isn't it? And it's very sleek and rounded and... Out to the Federation ships, though. If you're not counting Imperial ships. I don't know. Oh, I tell you what I would probably go for. The Alliance ships. I like the Alliance ships. I like the design of them. But they remind me a little tiny bit of the Eagles from Space 1999. Not too much. But you know, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, the Alliance Crusaders and the Challengers. Whoa, we got a deadly Corvette. Oh, he's gonna get there before I do. Okay, along those lines, guys, worst looking ship in the game. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's functional or how good it is. There's, there's two contenders for me in this one. Uh, the first one is the Type 9. And the other one would be the Type 6. Horrible looking things. <laughs> Corvette! How dare you, sir. Come on, one more shot. Get his shields down. Oh, it's under construction. Ah! No! Me? You're set for deployment. Oh, this is not good in the middle of a corvette. You better not blow my ship up. Yeah, like I can do anything. We're switching, by the way. You are not having my ship. I just don't... Look what you've done to my pips! Leave them alone! Oh, 
Oh, really? The Mamba? I'm not, I'm not having that case either. Enemy <laughs> look, look! Surge detected! I wouldn't mind, but he's not even a captain. Let me see if we can just change his mind. Oh, he's gone. Did, did the battle end? And I wasn't looking. I guess so. They're all gone. Uh, what did we make? 2.3 million. A tad under the Corvette, but considering this is only a little crate, I think it did itself quite some justice there. Very good. My crate. Yeah, she's all right. Now, haven't I got a fighter to bring in? No. Okay, so no fighter and no conflict zone. So back we go to the Iron Wings of Justice. Justice once. Yeah, I don't know how accurate I would be popping the drives at with these plasmas. <laughs> So you're not into the Kardashians then, Kathina? <laughs> oh, I don't think so. <laughs> Iron Wings of Justice. I quite like the Type 7. I don't know. Maybe because it's pretty... I know I said... I, I know I said it doesn't matter how functional it is. <coughs> I'm okay with a Type 7. It's a Type 6. It just looks... It's like a brick. But it's a very good design for a... Like a freighter. Like if you had a massive long version of the T6, like a T60. Like that kind of big square bulky shape, but maybe half a mile long, then, you know, it'd be a great freighter ship. You'd never find a parking space for it, but, you know, like a big cupboard. Oh, have I done it again? I keep looking at the chat at the wrong time. But we're okay. We don't need to do the loop of humiliation. The hoop. The hoop of humiliation. There you go. I quite like the thing with the Mamba is it's the design of that ship is completely different to anything else in the game. And I the problem is I don't know what to do with one. What's what can it be used for? You know, really. What's it good for? What's oh what is the thing it's most useful at? Because it does look, it's a very cool looking ship. It's, I just can't find a purpose for it. I do have one. I think. I might, I don't know if I sold it or not. I probably should have sold it. A modified Mamba can do a little bit of damage before you fly out of danger. <laughs> yeah. I'll soften the target up for you. It's like um, if it, if it was in a if 
if the mamba was in a wing, it would be a backing singer. You know what I mean? It wouldn't be the it wouldn't be any of the lead artists. It would certainly be a, a backing singer. That's the kind of impression I get from that. Now we'll pop some fuel in because that's what's giving our plasma their fuel. So I don't really need to restock, do I? Not really. I will, but I don't have to. Frag cannons. How many hard points does it have? I don't know these things off off the top of my head. Like how many? How many? What sizes? Because yeah, I mean. You put frag cannons on a on a sidewinder, and if you can hit it, she'll do a fair bit. Of, if you can hit with it, she'll do a fair bit of damage. So again, another fifty grand for Jupiter. Didn't do our reputation any. Incoming message. Incoming message. It's like <laughs> it's like she's saying, another one. Incoming message. Oh, come on, I've lost. No, no, I haven't. I was about to say I've lost control of my uh, my comms dialogue, but I didn't. Thanks to your dedicated service, you are considered an ally. No, not an alloy. No, I am an ally. So, somebody asked. Oh no, it wasn't here, was it? Somebody wanted to know what the missions were like, but that was on the other station, right? Look at this, though. This is all fenced off. You can't do nothing here. So, how am I managing? So, I've got 9.1. I'm a bit short of my uh, target for 10 million, so we'll have to go out and do another run. I'll hit my 10 million. Yeah. That's what I want to do. Global progress, 79. Was this... Oh, I'd have to have a look back at the start of the stream. That's going to be around, what, half an hour in? Was this 49 million when we started? I don't know why that number's in my head. Billion, sorry. For, for, I think it was 49. How? What have we been streaming for? Two hours and ten minutes. Could Could 30 billion credits actually have been earned by then? Wow. I, I might have it totally wrong. I, I could have sworn I saw 49 there or something at the beginning, but I probably got that wrong. But yeah, 79 billion credits, and I've contributed nine of those. Yes! I feel so fulfilled. And I'm in the top 50%, even though I've, uh, I've contributed a, a minuscule. Oh, was it 74? Oh, that that makes more that makes more sense. Where I'm getting 49 from, I I don't know. I could have sworn I saw a big number with four with a four in front, unless I was looking somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. I must have been looking somewhere. But don't take my word for anything. Jeez, I've got yeah, not with my mind. Okay. And. Let's go and get the. So we need we need to make another million, um, which obviously we're going to do quite easily, and that will give us the ten million that I'm after. And that should keep me. That should keep me in the top seventy-five. Um, I, it'll keep me pretty decently in the top fifty. And if I drop into top seventy-five, I should still be able to be okay by. Thursday, I think it is. So yeah, we should be okay. The Bugatti Mamba. That sounds like a song. Oh, here we go. One class four, two class threes, and two class ones. So one huge, two large, and two small. Wow. Corrosive multi cannon in the huge. I don't have a use for my Mamba, so if you, I don't know if you've got a Mamba build lying around. But if you do, yeah, maybe do something with it. Next week's stream, 
found a use for a mamba. <laughs> That's if I remember to do it. Okay, we need to go back to the... Uh, uh, where is it now? The high one. Down here. Is it? Is it? I've gone too far. I think it was quite close actually, wasn't it? One twenty-seven fifty. Oh, seventy-seven. Oh, thanks, Andy. Seventy-seven billion when you first handed in. Okay, so we've gone up two two billion. Thanks for checking that out, man. Much appreciate that. That's still impressive. That's yeah, very impressive. Because thirty billion would have been. <laughs> that's some crazy activity. Yeah, Frontier could dream if everybody was playing that much. Um, but no, that's pretty good. Two billion in two hours. A billion an hour it's going up then, shall we say, maybe. That's pretty significant. A billion credits an hour. And my target is 10 million. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, Kefina. Yes, Luis, I have a... I've got two fast ships. Uh, I've got an Imperial Eagle, which will touch, I think, 900? Maybe not 900, maybe somewhere near there. And then uh, an Imperial Courier. And flying those in a canyon in VR is quite nice. The, the tighter the canyon, the better, because then you get more of a sensation of speed, obviously. The more closer the walls are to you, the more that sensation of speed is going to kick in, you know. So just find a really narrow canyon and go for it. Right, my little green mamba. Oh no. No. The U-turn of humility. What's the boost sound like on the Mamba? Is it? Uh, is that is the Mamba the one with the really nice boost sound? Hey, Commander Predator Blade. Welcome, sir. Welcome to the stream. I can't remember. I, I think when it when it got introduced, I think it was the... Which is the one that has... It sounds like a, it's got a little... Um, it sounds like it has a, a whistle to it. Almost. Unless I'm dreaming again. I, I'm probably dreaming. It sounds like it... And then it just kind of takes off. I probably dreamt it, don't worry. Right, so let's get old ship out. And Evan, you are flying. Don't ever forget that. And now I need to go here. Ah. Uh, yeah, I need you. Oh, God. <laughs> Multiple hostile ships. No, really? Now oh, let's go. Up. Oh, look at them all grouped together. Okay. Let's try and go pips 3 3 so we can keep those plasmas flying. I'll tell you a button I've not used for a while in, the, in, this, in these places, where you probably should, is the button that gives you the, the, the closest target. Your closest enemy. Did I get him? Did I get him? Did I get him? Did I hell? Too far away.
Come on, plasmas. Come on. Oh, he's here, right in front of me. Ah. Oh my goodness. I couldn't match him. Shields will serve you. Um, not at all. Great. Always have no nothing in the in the barrel when uh, they're right in front of me. <laughs> Always. I can't afford any pips into engines though. I could probably do 412. How do, you, how do you even set that up? You need a slide rule just to work that out. How do I set up 412? Oh my god. Yeah, can't be done. Okay, so F9 is for the fighter to follow. Gotcha. Jeez. He's got 1%. He's got no percent. Did I did I get hit him in time to get credits? Target destroyed. Guess that answers that. Yes, coronation chicken. Right, next up is this guy because he's basically dead anyway. One more. Oh, one more, one more. There we go, that'll count. Oh, Vulture, Vulture dead. And Asp Exploder is six clicks away, so we're going to have to put some pips in engines. Tell me how to fly. Oh yeah, it's Valentine's Day today, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Just realised. I forgot to send myself a card. Oh, I like that. We got a runner. Oh, well, okay. He didn't last too long. Oh, spiffing what? Right, next one. Soon be home in time for the Volibonds. No, not flight assist. Stupid keys. Come on. 
So even if you hit it right on the reticle, it doesn't mean you're going to get the hit. That reticle means educated guess. Oh, they strip shields, don't they, these plasmas? Just immediately. I love it. A couple of multi-cannons after the shield stripping would be good. Oh, too many misses. This is why I brought Merlin. That's what you should have been doing anyway. Oh, I knew that was a good one. Some strange tra trajectories. Ah, too early, too early, too early. It's an interesting ship to fly, though, with the plasmas. It's because it's not like I'm using um, gimbaled, you know, and it's good practice. tend to overuse gimbals, I think. Target shields online. Let's see if we can sort that out. Missed. Strip his shields off. Target shields offline. Just like that. Anything... Okay, uh, that's the interdictor, you plonker. Mm. You son of a bitch. I hate that. Waste of time and ammo. Got a decent boost speed this over 500. It's not too bad. Uh, with no pips and engines, though, I have no speed on the pitch at all to keep up. Let me try. I don't know. That's the best I got. Too far away. Too far away, Rusty. Come on. I have another ship right on my gearbox. Uh. Oh my god. Somebody bring Merlin in here. I should be able to have my my pilot bring any of my other other ships in, and I can have two of my ships in the same instance instead of having them restricted to ship launch fighters. I can't even hit the guy anymore. Computer, turn the fan on. Missed with the initial shot that counted. Uh, I do tend to fire just before I hit the reticle to account for movement and stuff, but sometimes it just don't want to work out too well. Is 
that the kill shot? No, neither's that. I think my ship launch fighter is probably gonna finish the dude off. Bye bye. We're only halfway there. I no, I wouldn't trust the pilot with my other ship. Target shields online. Is close. I can feel it. Keep up the pressure. Never mind what you're feeling, just go kill. Okay, Commander. Concentrating fire on primary target. Good boy. If you do well, I might even give you a rank later on. Master. Master is the next rank, isn't it, for this guy? Not what you guys are thinking. Oh well. One pip in shields and I end up ramming. Jesus, does he know I've only got one pip in shields or what? Hey, I can't be responsible for your mind, Freaky. I've said nothing wrong. Fair to say that my my co-pilot will be ranking up to master next. So if he does well, he'll get a rank. That's the way it is. Yeah, my my shields are not that. I don't know. It depends what ship you're in, though, surely, Kathina, on on the pips, because uh, you know, my cutter's shields, for example, can survive that kind of thing. But this, I don't know. At least my uh, my fighter has survived a fair while. How are we doing on the old money front? Oh yeah, we are getting new credits. Look at that, it's jumped right up to 700. So we must have got 300,000 for that last one, despite what, the, what we were told on screen. Okay, Corvette, let's do it. Get to about four kilometers and then you can go and get him. You do that. Can I not fire off two shots, one after the other, with all firing? Come on, out of ammo. I've lost him. This Corvette might give us the, the, the money that we need. So big, I couldn't possibly miss it, right? Ah, I couldn't just can't line it up. Bang, that was a good hit. Oh, flip. <laughs> As soon as I fired, the reticle just shifted quite quickly. There he goes. Bang. Woohoo! There's the million. Ew, spiffing. Right, so we're nearly... 
we're nearly finished with this one. So let's go and get this dude. Another Corvi. Oh, he's just, has he just dropped a heat heat? Yes, there goes the heat sink. Soon your shields will be gone. Keep firing. There you go, shields are down. Sometimes I'm trying to wait for him to get really close so I can do a, not too close, but close enough I can just do a nice point blank shot, but then it drifts away. Got a very thin front profile, though. Oh, come on. Kick him in the belly. Can handle it. Oops. Trigger, itchy trigger finger there. Your time is at an end. One more. Bye bye. <laughs> All that crackling. <laughs> Finally. About 400,000 on that one, I think. Any other decent ships here? Oh, thanks. Oh, we've done it. A real murder difference. Come back, come back on board. There you go. Let's go. Yes, not too bad. Oh, are they? I'll remember that for the next time I go in. I might come back to this um, to more towards the end of the CG. I might come back and do a little bit more just to top up. Um, hopefully, I can. I'd like to stay now within the uh, the fifty percent. That would be that would be cool. I'd like to stay within the top fifty. I don't think I'm going to make top twenty-five. I seriously don't think so that's going to be quite a jump I think I imagine it would be obviously the jump from 75 to 50 wasn't so bad but I've got a feeling there'll be a bit more work involved to get to 25 and then even more to get to top 10 percent yeah but somebody out there is leading this in the top in the top 10 Top 10 commanders, somebody is number one, and they don't know who they are. And look, the top 10 commanders, look, AA, they got free breakdown recovery as well. It's not fair. <sighs> Sorry, that's a silly joke.
Yeah, I, I do. I do like the crate. I it's I like the the, sh the fact that the uh, look all the cables and things are just untidy, stuffed up there and just it, it's really good. It's a great it's a great um, as I say many times it's a great VR cockpit as well because you have the a little bit view downwards as well. But for looking around you and looking up to see where your enemies are in VR, very good. Yeah, I do need to get out more. God, I was out the other day doing my neighbor's car, um, changing the front discs and pads, front brake discs and front brake pads on a Peugeot 3008 and it was cold one degree my god I needed a cup of tea after that <laughs> oh do I not have a I've got a chieftain haven't I already I'll have to have a look and I'm gonna have to re-examine my a lot of my fleet and see what um yeah just see what what's going on. I have made a few changes as well to my channel. It was down for about 24 hours. Um, like I literally took the channel offline altogether. Um, yeah. I was going to keep it down for a while to be honest. But I ended up in the end just doing some um, rearranging of playlists and stuff videos that didn't have playlists, put them in the right playlist, renaming playlists, some videos that were private before and now public, um, like the Quince ones from back then, um, which was probably my most controversial video. Um, and yeah, so the playlists are more, or, uh, more are grouped more orderly now. Uh, they make a lot more sense than they did before. And so I just spent a few hours sorting that out um, and then I brought the channel back I just wanted to do it while it while it was offline I just wanted to spend some time me and the channel all alone right where am I going to pad seven naughty cow oh caution there you go Gentle. Uh, you, oh, that was sweet. Very gentle. How much is that going to cost? A thousand. That's fair enough. Right, let's hand this in. Iron wings. Because it gets the creases out of them. Is it me or is this, is this contact change? It wasn't this Susie Waterface before. Are these names changing or is it just, am I dreaming? I'm sure she was called Susie something, Susie Levy. I don't know, maybe I'm dreaming. As long as I'm handing everything into the right place. I have to do a new hollow me. That one is just ridiculous. <laughs> Make myself into handsome, handsome Jack. Commander Selim, hey, hi. Oh, you've got a 3008. Well, if you need your front brakes doing now, and yeah, <laughs> you know where to bring it. Uh, right, mission board. I'm gonna head back to Northrop now and have a look at the missions there because I know somebody asked about them so yeah ten and a half million that should keep me okay for a while but in the next couple of days what are we now Sunday so maybe Tuesday I'm gonna see where I am and make sure that I'm still in the top 50 and I'll probably go out and do a, a little bit more 
Um, if I'm on, I'll sh well, it depends on the time of day and everything, but if there's any, any of you guys on Discord at the time, um, I might call you guys up and see if anybody wants to wing, and then we can go, we can go and wing up and, and come in and do this. Um, maybe in a couple of days, just to top up. I'm not going to miss out on that permit. Not a chance. I can't see me falling back into the top 100% though. So I'm pretty sure I'm safe. Where am I going? Right. So let's launch and see if we can find Northrop before we get released. Little game I like to play. There it is. Lock it down. Oh, great timing. Engines engaged. Engines engaged. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, the landing was not bad, eh? I had to switch it round. Oh, she took sick leave from stress. Well, maybe she went off to get her COVID, her COVID-07 vaccination. Don't forget the mission board question, Rusty. It was answered. Was it? Oh, forget the mission board. Okay. Well, I'll check it out anyway for my own. Well, yeah, thanks. Four, three, two. It's Susie Levy on your game. Maybe they've just got different people on the reception desk. I don't know. Oh, it could. That's a thought, Eddie. A different person for, di for a different docking. That's interesting. Have I got bored of Microsoft Flight Sim? Not at all. No, no, I haven't. Um, but be yeah, obviously the last couple of months have been a bit rough, so I couldn't really focus on gaming that much. Um, but no, I have been back to it a couple of times in the last week or so, and uh, I want to get back into it. I don't know whether it's any, it's something I think what I might do, maybe, um, is put a little poll out on my channel, on my YouTube channel, and ask you guys what you would prefer for content. It doesn't mean I'm going to do it, because I'm going to do what I want to do at the end of the day, but, <laughs> let's be honest, um, but I would like input to see what people don't want, or do want to see on my channel. Um, because otherwise, I don't want to spend hours creating a video to get like, you know, 50 views in three days. It's just, it's not worth it for me. So I might put a little poll, a poll out. I, I don't think he minds doing it. Um, oh, I haven't tried VR uh, with Flight Sim at all. I have not tried it. Maybe I'll do a stream on that. Well, if if that's all people want on my channel, then they're going to be disappointed if it's, if they just want to leak content. Because um, putting out other stuff isn't stopping the elite content. It's not like if I put a video out of Euro Truck or, or Hitman or whatever, that it doesn't necessarily mean that an Elite Dangerous video would have gone in its place. Um, because until Odyssey comes out, the only time I play Elite Dangerous, more often than not, is on Sunday live streams. That's pretty much my Elite for the week. And now I'm assuming that when Odyssey comes out, it's, it's going to change everything. And I'll be doing a, a shed load of Elite content, providing Frontier get it right and then I think uh, yeah I'll do solitaire if there's enough people wanting it but I you know part of me like half of me wants to put the content out that you guys want to see so if you don't want to see Euro Truck or you don't want to see something that I'm putting out um, then just say so it's, I mean some stuff I am going to put out regardless 
you know, I probably will continue with SnowRunner and, you know, but I don't mind dropping stuff that nobody wants to see, but or if there's anything I don't do, I mean, I want to still do, uh, what's the other one? The puzzle game, The Room. I've got that to catch up on. Um, I've got The Room 3 to finish and The Room 4, which I have. Um, yeah. Oh, the building models content. Yeah, that's... <laughs> you mean the ships, you mean? Build... What do you mean, the building models content? Which models... Which models is that, Draco? Sorry, Saskia. <laughs> it's happened a lot, though, where I've I've streamed a game and then, um, all well, the shuttles. Well, I haven't done any of that really. It's just the uh, I did one video to say that I might do a series on that. Yeah. I might still do that. Oh, flip. Uh, sorry, Saskia. No, no, you're not. Okay. No, I'm not. What? I've lost track. Sorry. More dogs. As soon as I get down to my sisters again, I'll I'll stream some more doggies. No missions available. Korowalaga. Korowalaga. See if I can do a sentence with that word. Koro. Kor I don't think so. No. I did centimeter. I did a sentence with centimeter. Um, my auntie came to, came to visit. Now, what was it now? My auntie, yeah, my auntie arrived at the railway station for a visit and I was sent to meet her. Yeah, that was easy. Uh, Korowalaga, forget it. Oh! Lager, lager, yeah. Uh, never mind, sorry. <laughs> All right, sure, where are we? In relation to, this thing still wants to jump. I think we're three jumps away from Shinny, are we not? Four jumps. Oh yeah, three jumps in the vet. I see I did it the wrong way around. I, I brought the crate here and then I transferred the, the Corvette, four million credits. But I didn't have plans to bring the Corvette here until I, yeah, and anyway. Okay. Yeah, maybe a... Are you okay on a weekday? Oh, on a stream, you mean? Oh, on a stream, okay. Oh, you are not making me buy games. Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. This, it hap happened a while. When I first started streaming Elite, a lot of people said that they were buying it, and then people told me they'd bought Euro Truck, and... I had uh, SnowRunner was another one that people were telling me that they'd gone and bought from watching my stuff. And I'm thinking I should be getting uh, commission. Oh, two screens? Yeah, we'll have to set up two screens then. Yeah, okay, Kathina, we can try that. 
Uh, yeah. I know that Draco. People, some people tell me just whatever you put out, we'll watch. But I don't believe that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, just maybe I don't mind anybody got any ideas or ways they want to see the channel grow. Um, but it has to be something that I agree with too, obviously. And there's no point me doing ship build videos because I'll just. I'll just get corrected by Athena, like, you should have put this on. Don't mix that with this and <laughs> take that off. And that's no good. Right, what can we do? We're almost three hours in. I could end it here, but... But I won't. Yeah, well, the build... The build videos should be your department now. You should take over. And you know what I mean. Get the old micro hooked up and get going on it. I want to learn things. That's true, Draco. Completely true. I'll tell you what I'd like to see another version of, another another uh, game of, is uh, a new um, deep uh, Dead Space. A new Dead Space game would be cool. All clear. Hope to see you again, Commander. I really love those Dead those Dead one, uh, Dead Space games. The first one was absolutely brilliant. Oh, cheers, Kathina. <laughs> and thanks to Sagebrush Bob. How many hours have you got into it now? Oh, thanks, Saskia. Am I right in thinking your surname is White? Yeah, it's German for White, is it? Yeah. Vice. Yeah, Dead Space was great. I, I played I played all the Dead Spaces that have been out and I really enjoyed the first one because as it's the first one you you don't really know what to expect. Um, and if you've got surround sound speakers, oh god, play it with the lights off. Oh my god. When the aliens are banging on the door behind you. Pfft. Maybe we should do that. Just load up the very first Dead Space and just do a playthrough. You know. I don't know. I'd play it again. I don't remember too much. I remember one particular scene going through a bloody corridor. But, uh... Oh, Dead Space is wicked freaky. Honestly, you'd love it. 1,400 hours. That's pretty good. I don't know what time I've got in mind. I'll check it out when I get home to Shinny. When I get home to Shinny. Uh oh. Should a dog go through Kata? Meow. Yeah. My auntie suffered for years with Kata. Kata, Kata, Kata. Ouch. That's, yeah, yeah, that strange symbol at the end is a double S, yes, like Strasse. Schwarzenstrasse, right. <laughs> I don't speak German. <laughs> Saskia, is that right? That's how I would pronounce your first name. Do they put emphasis on the second syllable? Saskia. Or is that how it's supposed to be? I don't know. I would I would say Saskia. Oh, 
I was born in Germany, by the way. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not German. It doesn't work that way. Right, Jameson. I wonder if there's a real Jameson memorial out there. Like the name of a hospital somewhere. Called Jameson. Memorial. Hmm. I'll have to Google it. Where? Oh, God. It's... I don't know which one to say. Because it was... My dad was in the army. And so I was born when he was stationed in Germany. And... I think it's... I've got two different place names. And... I think it's Wegberg. And... I think the... Uh, the army... The British army place is Rheindalen. But yeah, that's where I was born. Wegberg. With a W. <laughs> I wouldn't mind driving there one day. I've never been. Well, obviously I have, but... Geez, when I was Whittle, when I was Whittle. Yeah, I stayed in Germany for the first couple of years of my life, I think. And then moved to Gibraltar, because as my dad was stationed there. And then when I was about five or six, into back to the UK. Until I was 17, both my parents passed away, and then I couldn't stay around, so... Went to Madrid with my sister, then down to Gibraltar for 30 years, and now I'm back in the UK. But God knows why. For the grey skies and the rain. You're from Austria. Nice. Interesting life. Oof, geez, I could tell you some stories. Welcome to Rusty's podcast. There is a Jameson Memorial Methodist Church in Virginia. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I don't know about well, well travelled. I mean, you. Won't, I won't get on a plane again unless. Well, have to be some very specific circumstances. I've lived in Gibraltar, I've lived in the UK, and I, I was too young to remember being in Germany. And my dad was also in Cyprus as well. He's, my dad was, uh, he got, yeah, he was, he got around, man, with the, with the army. Seriously. Oh, shut up telling a story yeah I've got a I think I've got it downstairs but I've, I have a letter from it's an old one I've I, it's starting to fall to pieces I really have to get it framed um, there was a time during the hold on 1946, was it 46 or 44? 44, 1944. My dad went, what, what's it called, MIA? Yeah, missing in action. He was missing in action. Uh, I wasn't even born, obviously, so, yeah. And every time I read the letter, it tears me up. Um... <coughs> He was missing in action, no one knew where he was. Back in the day when they were calling it shell shock and not, what is it now? Post-traumatic stress disorder or battle fatigue or whatever distilled name they want to put on it. And I have the letter downstairs from, uh, that was addressed to my dad's mother, so my grandmother obviously, to say that he'd been found uh, at, in a hospital, suffering from shell shock, and the, the army was sorry for any inconvenience 
or stress caused because they didn't know where he was. It's quite a touching thing. And I never even got a chance to sit down with him and talk about those times. Hmm. Anyway, enough of that. There's a Jameson Memorial Hospital in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. <laughs> you see, I knew there'd be some out there. I knew there would be some out there. Jameson Memorial. It ha there had to be. The world's too big. It, there has to be one. <laughs> What's the other one on here? Jameson... Uh, oh, flip. How can I have forgotten? Jameson Base. Yeah, there might, there might be a military base for that. Who knows? Jameson Base. <laughs> Let's not go looking for something orbital. I doubt there'll be any of those. Right, so while we're here, let's go into my shipyard. And I have my ship. So I've got my engineered Sidewinder, which I've appropriately named, uh, with two the two frags, the one I talked about earlier. This is called storage box because that's what it is. It stores engineered stuff for when my storage space runs out. Cobra Mark III is two plasmas, two multicannons. I don't use it, so I don't know whether that can be re-engineered to do something cool. I don't even know why I have a Viper Mark III. This must be a storage. No, what is it for? Why would I have two empty, s small, small, empty, small? Yeah, why would I, I wouldn't. Why would I have any um, hard points at all? You come from Maltese Jews. The the two companies I worked for in Gibraltar for the last twenty, nearly thirty years, no, twenty seven years, uh, were two law firms, and they were both. Uh, Jewish, Jewish law firms. So we got all the Jewish holidays as well as the normal holidays, which was cool. Oh, I own a Type 6. Didn't even know it. Cargo, obviously, look. But I don't know why I would need this. I've got the Type 9, but this can land at uh, platforms, can't it? And there's my Eagle. Boost speed, 862. I know they can hit 900, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. I'm not hitting 900 for some reason. Maybe we should take this thing out for a spin. Viper 4. Two beam lasers with thermal shock. Two multi-cannons with corrosive shell. I don't use these ships. There's my 885 meters per second courier. So the Eagle 862, just a tad faster. Although this is better for me because in VR, again, the cockpit of this thing is fantastic. It's like a little fighter jet. Um, yeah. An artist. What did, what did I say, Aquatic? Would be interesting to see some of that. What did I say? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not with you, Aquatic. My brain doesn't retain information. Oh man, my mum used to tell me that Austrian military police would periodically swing by our house when they were not married yet to look for my dad because he had gone MIA again. Oh, make a Viper Mark III faster ship in the game. Oh, you thought I did graphics work. Oh, yeah, well, sort of. I'm not a graphics person, but, yeah, I have delved into the 3D graphic world. I've been doing 3D renders. Yeah. Well, I did do a stream once where I, I took one of the game, uh, one of the cars out of one of my sim racing games um, and went through the whole procedure to get to a photorealistic rendering. Um, it didn't get that many views, but I could do one. I don't mind doing that. I don't know if there's much interest for it though. So this is my Cobra 4. Uh, this is the ship that does all of my 
wake scanning and it's got all the limpets in there and stuff for vehicle hangers. So this thing can pretty much, it's very multi-purpose thing. Recon limpets for, for hacking, right? Collector limpets for picking up. Yeah, so it's, it's for gathering nuts in May, that one. Diamondback Explorer 73 and a half light year jump range, this one. Um, I forgot I had this actually. Named James Randy after James Randy. Um, my Alliance Chieftain. Now, what is this doing? Oh, these cannons. This hasn't got a four shell on it. Hmm. Where can I get a four shell from? These are brilliant, the four shell, because they, they push the ships out of the way, right? I, I love. I love these ones. Scramble Spectrum, which is what you get when you put a little Sinclair computer in a blender. You'd watch that? <laughs> okay. Well, your chieftain needs work. It does, yeah. I'm sure I did a, a build of a ship not too long ago where it was a full cannon build with four shells for pushing ships away and it's great the great fun in the uh, um, in the resource extraction site because you it's very it's very fun when you can push a ship into an asteroid if you get the t if you get the placement right and the timing right so this one black ice it's an explorer obviously I don't use it for exploration otherwise it wouldn't have a simple 44 light years jump range corrosive shell and multi-cannon and two thermal vent beam lasers. Is this some kind of cool running stealthy combat ship I've got here? Hmm. I've not used this for a while. Maybe take this out and see how it manages. Because with, with two thermal vent beams that's going to be there's going to be ice forming on my windshield, right? Oh, I did that on my Corvette. No, they're not practical, but yeah, lots of fun. Here's my Crusader. Less than a jump away. Missile rack and two multi-gallons. What purpose I used this for? Again, I don't know. I've got lots of wasted ships here. <laughs> I don't think anything's engineered either. So that's another wasted ship. This is Smuggle Bus. Yes, my smuggling passenger ship. Can you get? Can you still get those where you do? Um, you take the criminals. Just that's all I want to do. Like take criminals everywhere. Let's just pop this out. Second, downsize. Yeah, downsize or reinvent. Keep the ships, but reinvent uh, the bills. Perhaps you know, that might be good. I did that on my Corvette. Did I really? You've got one hell of a memory. That must have been so far back. What the hell is this thing with no shields? Why am I smuggling dodgy passengers with no shields? That's confidence for you. But can you get dodgy passengers? Criminals and stuff now? I don't know. Have you Bentley? No, you can't. To visit Carbon Star. How far? Oh, jeez. Uh, Liliana Lopez. Hey, Liliana. So this, for 2.7 million, I can travel to there. Which is only 81 jumps. Well, it is in this ship. Let's go fast. See if we can... Yeah, 81. 
I did plan to be out in deep space to, when I started the stream. Or the stream, the actual plan for the stream today wasn't this CG. It was, it was meant to be um, my alter ego account, Oliver Hardy. Uh, we were supposed to be somewhere up here where ships can't get to, but fleet carriers can. Um, and I boarded Andy Kay's uh, fleet carrier to do that. And then when I went into my account, I wasn't on the carrier anymore. So I have no flipping idea what happened there. Um, but I don't know, maybe Andy can let me know what the system was. And if anyone has a fleet carrier that they want to take up there. Because it's a 361 light year jump. So obviously you can't do it in a ship. You can only reach it in a carrier. Um, yeah. So I don't know what happened. Yeah, Cosmic, I, I'm not sure what happened to it. If you need a ride, I can send my carrier to collect you. Yeah, maybe do that sometime. The bottom's fallen out of the travel industry. <laughs> yeah, maybe we can do that sometime. Um, what about how much have I got anyway? Ten billion. I mean, I could afford a fleet carrier myself, but oh, I can't be bothered with all the tritium stuff. I just want to go to a place where I can just buy a shed load of tritium um, and not have to mine for it. Right, so where did I get up to? What's this one? What did I call it? Oh, censorship. Yeah, okay. Smart ass. Uh, right. Oh, my vulture, Riley. Currently with a... That will be an efficient beam laser with a thermal vent and a multi-cannon with a corrosive shell. I love these little ships. They're so um, agile. Really, really good for ag agility. And it's got a nice ship kit on it, this one. I should maybe try some of these as well. There's my Phantom. As you can see, it's totally useless. It's just got four pack hand missiles on there for... Uh, for testing, I think, because I, I earned them. And then I earned them, you know, with the power point. Power play, power play, not PowerPoint. I earned them with the power play and I put them on this ship just to try them out. Realized that they were about as useful as. Don't say it, Rusty. As they. A chocolate teapot. There you go. Useless as a chocolate teapot. And so I kept them on there and I haven't used the ship. This is my exploration. Um, ASP 64.7 uh, two SRVs and does it have any AFM use? yeah there we go it's got one there and there it is the Black Mamba say nothing let's just leave it there four frag cannons and a multi cannon Let's take it out. Tons of shield boosting. Let's take it out and see what what it's like. Oh, hip. Is that the name of the system, Andy? I didn't realize the system all that way up would be. Yeah, I will try the relog. I definitely will. It's strange, I went in for the first time and I was in my type, it looked like a type 6 I was in, and I was definitely in the bubble. Yeah, pack hounds can be useful, depends on the build. All the power play stuff is situationally useful, apart from the Saito scramblers. They're just overpowered. I don't think I've got those. Now, maybe somebody else can tell me what the hell I was going for by the fact that I am... Who am I pledged to? How do I find out who I'm pledged to? Uh, 
Oh, I know. Because the only reason I'm pledged to a power in the first place is because Archon Delane is because of what they offer. And I've spent enough time here. So whatever he's got for sale, flipping Thor here, whatever he's got for sale. Yeah, the Saito Scrambler, there you go. Well, I've been more, I've been way more than four weeks with this guy. Way more. So it's just a question of getting it done. Um, I need, I need to unlock 750 merits. So uh, yeah, it's just a question of getting that done at some point and getting the Saito Scrambler. But I've been way, way more than four weeks. Uh, pledged to this dude. He looks like Ron Perlman. Anyway. They're brokenly powerful. <laughs> Sounds like something I would like. Now this looks like we're in a bit of trouble here. Have I got a fuel scoop? Because... Yeah, I do. Oh, what's this? Is this... Frag cannons and multi-cannon. So I guess the multi-cannon is to keep trained on the ship while I'm not focused right on it and then when I am I can let the frag cannons go. Problem with the frags of course is that they just run out too quickly. So let's launch and we'll go to bookmarks and we're going to come down to the place that I know. Looks like I have enough fuel to get there. So here it is. If Batman was going to pick any ship in the game, it would probably be this thing. Oh, this isn't a good idea. No, no. Jeez, ah! what speed's this thing doing? It's doing f 490. This is without boost. Go on, then boost it. 600. Okay. That's quick. Probably best I best I don't boost in a in an in a res site then. I'll end up five kilometers away. Yeah, the boost on this is it's got a nice boost sound, but it's not the one I was thinking of that had that. There's one ship that's got a, like a little whistle to it before it boosts, and I don't know which one it was. I'll be damned if I'm going to go through them all to find out. So what would you do with the Saitos then? Are they sh is, are they pretty much shield strippers? So you just get a couple of those, strip the shields down and then just whack it with a couple of multi-cannons or something. Maybe they'll go well on, um, on, on this ship, Black Body Prophecy. Put three of them on and any of the medium and you have the beastly harbinger of death. That sounds uh, like a good plan. Okay, well at least that'll give me something to do um, to gain those merits. Is it a case that it's the best, the best time to do that is on like a Wednesday or something? Gain all the merits on the Wednesday and then it ticks over the next day and then you get them. Was it the vulture? Hmm. I'm not sure, really. Why am I down there? Oh, stupid menus. Right. Let's go to the first has. And we'll do a, a short, brief, little moment with this ship. The cockpit's quite different, isn't it? That's what you call the sunroof. <laughs> and there's the sun. Oh, it could be a planet roof. Yeah, it's like the, the cabin is like I'm, st I'm stuck inside a little sandwich or something. 
You're at HIP 545. Yeah, go, go get, get the permit, Jack. Do it on Thursday afternoon and then it's done with. When's the tick over, though? Is, I thought it was... Isn't it Wednesday midnight going on to Thursday? Or is it 24 hours later? Yeah, just I'll just find out and see what uh, Archon Delane wants wants me to do for his 750 merits. It's the merit show. I haven't I haven't palated the mem member member. I <laughs> again leave it. Yes, I haven't piloted the Mamba for a long, long time. So it'll be an interesting thing. 10 a.m. Thursday. Oof, then I'll have to do it Wednesday then. Well, I won't be getting up in the morning and then, you know, earning 750 merits before breakfast. That's not happening. So how would a couple of them do, how would a couple, blur, start again, take it back, what can you ever argue to it? How would a couple of those cyto scramblers do on a vulture? Because that's two huge hard points, right? So they might be fairly effective, right? Yes, uh, and also don't forget to check out Casina's YouTube channel and subscribe. All the ship builds that she does on videos are there. So secondary frags, primary multis. Let's take down a dropship. Do not boost, Rusty. Do not boost unless you're running away. Oh, I haven't got a thingy. K a KWS. Ooh. That's his uh, ship launch fighter, I think, that just left. I'm used to stripping shields quicker than this. However, when it comes to the hull, it's good night, sweetheart. Oh, Cyto Scramble is a small only. Right. Alright, well, I probably stripped off more of my own shields than I intended to. Oh, God. Is he wanted? Yep. Yeah. Okay, we're taking on an anaconda. In for a penny, in for a euro. Frag cannons, when it comes to hulls, they just they just rip them apart. It's crazy. Maybe a couple of plasmas to get the shields down really quick. And then a couple of frags to get the hull. Plasmas and frags, would that work? Jeez, it stripped that anaconda quickly. Jesus. There's nearly a million already.
what have we got next? ASP, Dropship, Dropship, Python. They can be friendly, those, though. Gunship, plenty of gunships. What's, what's, uh, Frontier been up to lately? It's just <laughs> so many gunships and dropships. Do we have a clean or a wanted? Yeah, it's clean. Jerry Phillips. Well, he doesn't sound like he's any threat. Oh, but he is. Okay, so let's start with multi cannons. And then when I get a good shot, I'll fire those beautiful frags. Just peppering him with some multi cannon until I get closer. That's it. Bye bye. God, these frags. I love them. You get, if you can get close range with frags, they are devastating. Yeah, I know. I, I'm going to try and get up there, though. I'll try and get up there, Cosmic. But if Andy's if Andy's still there, then what I'll try and do is is re-log on my account and see if it, I can get back there. See if it's just down to some some bug maybe. This is not a bad little combat ship. Yeah, I'll give it a try after the stream, Andy. I'll have a quick, I'll have a quick go at it after the stream and see if I can, uh, see if I can do it. It's just a pain logging on and off. I'm gonna have, uh, they've got to send me, email me a code and all this palaver. The Flying Scotsman, eh? All right, there. Well, how far are you? All right, enough. On we go. Come on, shields, get yourself back up. Let's get some night vision on. Those two, oh man, those two arrows, they look like arrowheads on the front of my ship, and they're, uh, they could like, very good for armor piercing. <laughs> oh man, these frag cannons. And he was a pretty good detective as well. Back in the 70s. Although that might have been Frank. Yeah, that was... Get a bit closer. Oh, reloading. Okay, don't fire the frags until you're close. That's it. Bye bye. Cursed paradox. I bet I've already earned more than I have. No, not quite. So 381 is the max with no pips. Add some pips and we're cruising. So what if we're on default? Default I'm pushing what 437. Yeah. Oh bad boost. Oh Actually, that worked out 
quite well. I thought I was going to whiz past him, but it worked out okay. Settle down. And soon you will be gone. Man. You just watch the hole go down when he gets hit by by the frags. That's crazy. I'll finish this guy off with the multis. Save a bit of ammo. be bothered. Yeah, so there's no shortage of wanted ships, they're just not very challenging. Let's get down back to the epicenter of this and see if there's any uh, more action going on down here. Yeah, hi Titian. Yes, the Mamba is making an appearance today. Concord. Mm-hmm. Well, I hope I don't bend your nose out of shape. Ooh, it's an elite. So that means it's clean. Yep. Told you. No such luck. No such fun. Elite ship in a has res. That's not gonna be wanted. Oh yeah, lots of fun. Right, another gunship has appeared. Oh, can I get out with this? Oh, I thought I was going to hit that. Oh, I am. <laughs> My luck has finally run out. Oh, 20%! Ah, no, what happened? That wasn't good. I'm still going after that gunship. That wasn't good. Hey, gunship, don't move. Just stick around. I must have kept scraping against it or something. Where's me... Uh... There it is. Why? Why three seconds? Get my shields back up. <laughs> What's the rebuy on this? Let's see if I've got enough money. Please wait while Windows performs an update. Okay. Scan detected. Three million. Pfft. What a ripoff. Right, what was I after? Now that's going to be wanted. All I've just got to do is make sure he doesn't get my Stockhausen. Make sure he doesn't get my shields down, and I'm good. He's going to be wanted. There's no two ways about it. Oh, gold, he's in a wing of three. Why, why, why did you do that? Rusty, you're insane. You better dispose of him really quick. Okay, you have. Next. It's another clipper. Oh, this is not good. Just be quick. Just do it really quick. Triple clipper. The other one's going to be a clipper as well, I'm sure. Trip clip.
Don't lose your shields. That's the only thing. Just don't lose them. He's running off to get his shields back. That's him taken care of. Next one. Python? Oh, God. I took on a wing of two clippers and a python. Very sensible. Yes, well done, Rusty. That was clever. I should have checked. It might have been two sidewinders. My shields look like they're the same as when I started, more or less. Come on, boy. Come on, Mamba, you can do it. Strip that guy's shields off, come on. When the shields are down, I'll be around. With my undying, death-defying frag cannons. Never mind your cargo. No, oh, Rusty, that leads to shield failure. Ah. Oh. See you, Mark. No? Got him. Yes, that's right, Cosmic. Well said. <sighs> okay, Aquatic, take, take it easy. Take care, my man. We'll be in touch on... Uh, uh, okay... I've never been on that. And it sounds like not a place I want to go to. I'll see you on Discord instead. Scan <laughs> I'll T-bone a clip. Yeah. You know if you're in Fed space, if there's, a, if there's an Imperial anything, it's going to be pretty much uh, wanted. Who's this? Josh. Ah, <gasps> Harlequin. Yeah, so two clippers and a python in a in a wing, and oh, it's going to be oh yes, elite conda wanted. Bring it on. Okay, man, but listen up. Show me what you can do. Make the first shots count. So getting close, getting close, and make it count. before he gets bored and has to do and decides to go away. Oh. Ah, Swine. Did try to avoid that. Oh dear me! Don't hang too close. I've got, I've got frags. I told you, you do not want to be anywhere near me when these go off. But, I told you, you need to get away from me. Just giving you some advice. Keep your distance. No. Okay. Time for you to go bye-byes then. He's he did he's done some damage to my shields, but then some of that's been from the impact. But he's only got six percent left, and then he's toasted. Bye-bye. Now there might be something worthwhile picking up here. Oh, what a lovely thing that is there. Sonic boom thing, whatever it's called. The wave. What's he dropped? Anything decent? Compound shield? That's always handy to have. I'm going to pick that up. That wasn't bad. Yeah, the, the closer you can get in with the frags, the more damage they will do. Because then the fragments can't, you know, go around the ship and miss it. Oh, why is my cargo scoop not opening? Hello? 
my cargo scoop key is not my cargo scoop key anymore. What's happened? I did have to remap all my controls a long time ago, but I don't recall that the cargo scoop was one of those things. Is it? Yeah, that's it. That's the key. Oh, I know why. I know why. I know why. I know why. It's it's deactivated. Okay, so let's turn off. Let's turn off the shield booster. And now we can. Why did I think it was keys? Compound shielding comes in handy. Yes, it it dispatched of that um, that anaconda with impunity. Not the right word, impunity. But it did not take hardly any time at all. So this guy's winged. You're Edmund, right? Oh, he's pissed off around here. Oh, jeez. No, I don't, I don't want this. I want the other guy. Certainly don't want to be close. Don't get close. Jim Perry. Oh, great. Watch a bit of Dad's army now. What, is he novice? Oh, God. That's it. That was a very novice move, to be fair. Federal, two fed assault ships from here. Python, that's going to be clean. Lots of clean pythons around lately. So he's, he's either doing the firing or doing the... Uh, doing. Oh, God. On the offensive or on the defensive is what I mean. Right, a wing of three. Ah, yeah. I've, I've got a shield ring left. Should be enough. goes his shields. Just make sure you're not going to run out of frags too soon. Oh, almost, almost killed him. cannon for the rest and the diamondback scout is the other dude and there's another one somewhere but he's not he's either not in the vicinity or he's just not focused on me I don't have a lot of frags left so I have to use them wisely As great a weapon as they are, they run out of ammo too quickly. I'm not going to need them. <laughs> Gunship Eagle Elite Courier. Okay. Uh, but he's losing he's losing uh, integrity almost almost dead. 
This mamba's actually quite impressive. I might have to start using it a bit more. I don't know whether Kathina can maybe um, toughen up my shields a bit, but I think... Didn't you already do this one, Kathina? Is this not one of your, your builds? <laughs> it's a good ship because it has agility, it's got speed. The only problem is, like I said, the frag cannons is the is the thing because they they get, they run out too soon, just when you're having fun, really. But they are absolutely devastating at close range, literally. You should try with my cutter. It's got it's just pure frag build. And it is really bad to be anywhere close to it, if you're an NPC. But this thing almost seems as effective. Maybe because it's smaller, I don't know. So this is right. going, going to a bazaar. And he's clean, so I'm not going to take him down. Oh, look at the name of that ship. Raging Pandemic. Shall I kill it, guys? We'll kill Raging Pandemic and just pretend that we're wiping out COVID. This is the Room 101 ship we're going to be taking out. It's in a wing of three. Yeah, you would be. Well, I hope we win against it. Okay, Raging Pandemic. It's going to take 19 shots to take you down. I am the vaccine. Oh, bugger. Reloading. Hang on, got another syringe to fill up. Give me a second. There we go. Bye bye. Boom! Lock down that. And if there was two of us on the stream, it would have been a COVID EO. <sighs> Doesn't work, Rusty. Doesn't work. How am I doing on the old credit front? Six million? Hey. <laughs> We're not doing too bad. I'll keep going. Going into, oh, this is it. I was going to say, I'll keep going till I run out of ammo. But here is your running out of ammo ship. Oh, it's only a master. I might be able to do it if I'm... Oh, I have to be careful. Use as much multi-cannon as possible. Who's attacking me now? No. Go away. Oh, it's a bloody adder. Right. Multi-cannon only. Scan detected. I know you're tempted, Russ, but don't, don't, don't. Use the frags. Save it for the Conda. Oh my god, it takes so long. Okay, now we can get some work done. I think these multi cannons are better on the hulls than the shields, right? It's so small, though. Poxy adder. <laughs> this must have been the remnant of that wing. Is that the guy? Yes, that's the guy. Right, where is it? It's right there. I'm, I'm on top of it. Make it count. Why have I got another ship on me? Oh, gold! I've got another ship on me. This is not good. Oh, it might be his... Uh, it might be a ship launch fighter. Come 
one, Frags. How many's left in the barrel? That's enough. Shield ring, the shield ring will hopefully hold out. Oh, 2%. Evil. One more, one more, one more. Oh, well, got paid for it. And that was his SLF, because that's gone now. If I D, D, okay, so we've got three, three, 21 and 12. Have we got enough to do an expert dropship? <laughs> Let's take it to the limit. Let's see if we can do an expert dropship. I'm gonna have to, if I can use my multi-cannon to do a lot of the, oh sugar, to do a lot of the, uh, the shield work. Now, although I have to say, if I get a good shot, I am gonna wipe it out. Here we go. have many left. I've got three frags left on... that's it. I've got three on two of them. Come on, get closer. Keep coming at me. Bye bye. Get out of my way. We are officially out of ammo on two of them. Wow, two boosts. Nice. We better cash this in. Have I got prismatics? Do you know what? I actually don't know. I'll have a look. I actually don't know. But, yeah. <laughs> we can all go in public again. Let's have a look, see what the shields are on this. Bye, weave. So I've got a load of shield boosters, so it's going to take a little bit longer for the shields to regen because of all the boosters. But yeah, just by weaves. Standard by weaves with one, two, three, four, five. Five shield boosters. Are these the Guardian ones then? Or does it actually say Guardian? Oh, oh sorry, I'm thinking of something else. Forget it, forget it. I'm thinking of something else. Guardian. What am I thinking of, Kathina? Help me out. Shield boosters are in the utilities. Guardian Shield Reinforcements, that's it. That's what I'm thinking of. All right, so we can go to... We can land on these platforms. So, we have a carrier here. Oh, that's ours. Okay, I'll land on the kennels then. This is great, because it means I can land on our carrier, even in a large ship. Now, that's brilliant. I can get my repairs done on a large ship here without landing on a planet. What a great place for it to be. Yes. Yeah, Guardian Shield Reinforcement, that's what I'm after. Thankfully, Kathina, I am neither of those. I might be... I might be mad. I, I, I probably am. A little. But it's that cute kind of mad, you know. But yeah, I think it's brilliant having the candles here because if you want to bring a large ship here and then after you've done all of the combat you want to cash it in, the only place is, is, let me try and remember what it's called, oh, uh, is it something rest? And it's a planet, it's a planet surface base. Um, so having the candles here means I can repair. Oh, you c oh, yeah, of course, you can't hand in the vouchers. That's true. That's true. Screw the kennels then. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a good point. Can't hand in the vouchers. Let's go to Mendeleev. What's the other one? I knew Tito Camp was the other thing. Jones's Progress. Ah. Failed the pub quiz. 
mend a leaf. So that's an easy one to do. Um, I mend a leaf, but I ended up not going. <sighs> Sorry. I'm in one of those moods. I mend a leaf, but I ended up not going, and I was told not to hang around for too long. invite me to a party. Hey, we did all that with the 19% hull though, and we fought the last couple of battles on one shield ring, which isn't too bad. And all that hull damage was all my fault. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't pay for that option. Okay. That would be a good thing to have though, to be able to uh, hand in your your stuff there. If you're on a big ship, that is. I know, I've just done the, the roundabout of ridiculousness. Have another go. What's that, Cosmic? Sorry, I'm... I know if I read you, someone should write an app and tell us to do a nano duel. How much hitting power the frags have? Rusty just said, "Well, they they took those shields down quick." Yeah, the the the, um, the frags are devastating on the hulls, though. I mean, they're pretty good on shields, to be fair. But on hulls, phew, once your shields are down, you're in you're in a whole world of trouble if you're facing frags. And that's what I love about them. Knocking request granted. Thank you, Grant. Where are you putting me exactly? Oh, that's the other way around. Uh, where am I? There we go. Yes, and this Mamba is literally painted black, hence the name. So it's got nothing to do with anything that anything else related. Yeah. It's a nice looking ship. Look how look how small I am. Is it really that big? Oh, I didn't think it was that big of a ship. Wow, this is a, this is quite a sizable ship then. Hmm, I'm gonna have to have a go of this in VR. Right, what did I make? Seven, almost seven point three million. Very nice, very nice. And this is with L values party. Okay, oops. No, nope, didn't want to go passengers. Didn't want to go passengers. Hara rara. Fifty. Where do you want to go? Exotic giant. Twenty-five thousand light years. See, it's ridiculous, because I could earn that fifty million in combat before I'm halfway there. 41 million to go, 24,000. There should be the occasional, you know, like say a criminal who's got loads of money from his shady deals and he needs to get somewhere that's not that far away and he's willing to pay supremely well. And they should come up every now and again. You know, infrequent but that they do happen. That would be nice. And then it's just nice to catch the old one. So this one is 5,900. Mm, it's not too bad, but it's not worth 17 million. Not unless each passenger was paying that. Right, so what I was going into was here. 
I want to see my rep. Oh, it's already it's already whacked up to the top. Okay. Assassinate a known pirate. Kathina, where can I get those? Or if anyone else knows, where can I get those? Um, no repair. Ah, where can I get those threat sevens? The pirate threat sevens. Are they in a specific um, kind of system? And should I take a ship like this into one of those places? That's another thing. Okay, so we'll hand that in. Oh, this black, m this, this mum, <laughs> he said the name there. This mamba's really fun. Uh, redemption office, yeah, that's what it is. Civil unrest systems. Hmm. Interesting. Let me just have another look. Is it me or does this menu here with the starport services and the launch, does, does it look bigger than normal? Is that because it's a smaller ship? It looks huge. Hmm. Go into the mission board. Let's see if there's any um, kill missions here. So we got, this is a wing one. Elite. John T. Bale. Uh, scanner now beacon at Mazzoni. Mazzoni, or use a discovery scanner to locate the target signal source. Okay, I might take that. Let's have a look around. Courier jobs. Pfft. Minimum wage. Yeah, wet work, that involves just washing ships, not doing those. Clean out Hutton Orbital. No. Oh, okay. I thought I... Okay, I'm not going to Hutton Orbital. Clean out Hutton Orbital Truckers Cooperative Sentry Skimmer. We need you to eliminate eight Sentry Skimmers. I haven't done this for a while. Can I do this with my frag cannons? Can I do this from the air? I can, right? These actions are considered illegal in most systems. Hmm. Hmm. Find your targets at Semionis Vision. This, this. Yeah. Should we do this one? Is it still the case where you can you kill like four of them and then you've got to do a relog and do the other four? Is it four hours? Thanks, thank you, Luke. Thanks for keeping me in check, my man. I don't know whether to take this on. If I can do it from the air, so to speak, then I I, I don't mind having a go at this. If it's an SRV, I'm screwed because I don't have any. Hey, Roger. Okay, matey. I'll chat to you a bit later. Does anybody know if I can do this from the air? Even though there's no actual air, but it pays well. And it is illegal. Urgent kill order for known terrorist. 6.4 million. Kaka. Right. Assassinate known terrorist. Let's do it. Let's take this terrorist down. So, the Hill Parsh Sahi liberals need you to assassinate the known terrorist, Rai. Um, yeah, he's been on a crop of criminal activity. Uh, He's been on a crop of criminal activity and he ought not to do that. Oh, I don't know, wheat, wheat, you guys must think of me. 
Right. Let's go and open the galactic map. I might take some of the um, biotech conductors. I'm not sure how many of those I have, but there's five on offer here. I might be tempted. Uh, and then after I've done this mission, that's probably going to be it. <laughs> go shovel some snow, Sage. Sagebrush Bob, take care, my man, and thanks for being here. I'm going to do this one thing. For really, you've never done a skimmer mission. Wow. Let me see my gameplay here. So, I don't know what this is going to translate to, really. 21 weeks, three hours. I, I don't have Alexa near me. But just in case one of you do, Alexa, what is 21 weeks and three hours in hours? If anyone's Alexa went off, that it would have just told them. <laughs> I did that once and somebody's Alexa on the stream went off. <laughs> yeah, 21 hours, 21 weeks, whatever that is. Anybody got an Alexa in the room <laughs> that just went off? Have you did Dr Draconis? Have you done the mega ship missions the the way I showed, where you you headbutt them? You don't have to fire a shot. Oh, you've got a Google one. What do you have to say for that then? Hey Google. Hey Google. Imagine having a dog called Google or Alexa in the room and then you say, hey Alexa, or no, hey Google. The dog turns around and the machine goes off at the same time. Oh, <laughs> it went off. <laughs> uh. I only found out the other day that um, my Alexa can turn my TV on and off because I have one of those uh, Amazon Fire Sticks and so Alexa can see that. 3,528. Oh, is that what mine is, Andy? I've just passed 3,500 hours then. It's, I know it's not a a smidgen on, on what yours is. Yours is up, up, double that, isn't it? Oh, you're joking, General. You're really? You're How did it... But he got his, his whole address? Oh, man. That's pretty bad. <laughs> Oh, I once said to Alexa, are you listening to everything I say? Or something like that. And she gave me this whole lecture about she doesn't listen to me. She, you know, she only listens when I say the word Alexa. Other than that, she's not listening. And it was all this assuring you about no, um, that, they, that she wasn't actually listening in all the time, you know. Um... And the other, the other thing I did was, as a joke, probably not in good taste, but as a joke, I just wanted to see what, what it did. My iPhone, um, I just pressed, I pressed Siri, and I said, Siri, I want to commit suicide. And Siri said, she came up with a phone number and said, this is a phone number you need to contact, blah, 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 blah. And I thought, oh, Sugar, I think I cancelled that. And I cancelled it. And then I said, Siri, what's what's the weather? And she didn't tell me the weather. She gave me the phone number again and again and again. And it, she kept pressing me on this phone number to call. Which is kind of a cool thing, but it's that was freaky, man. Yeah. They do have these little things built in where, you know, I I'd, sometimes I, I say... Things like that, just to test and see what, what you know. Because if you're in a, in a situation where you want to say, like, Alexa, um, or oh, I better not say the whole thing, like, call an ambulance, 
or call me an ambulance or hey Siri call me an ambulance or something like that um, it's how they're going to react I know somebody's life got saved once by by that but they had a 6 an iPhone 6s I only have the 6 so it doesn't you can't say hey Siri um, unless it's plugged in with the cable well the 6s you can um, and I don't know what the situation was, whether she got hit by a car or something, or something happened, she was trapped under a vehicle, and her phone was like two feet away, and she just said, hey Siri, get, bring, get an ambulance, and the phone called the ambulance and got the ambulance on, on site, just from her using her voice, because she couldn't reach the phone, it was brilliant. They're really useful like that, but you, yeah, it's... I don't know what they can and can't respond to, but it's good to, it's good to find out. Oh. <laughs> Broke Siri. Didn't somebody get two phones once with um Siri and another and another phone? I don't know if it was Siri as well, and they got them ended up in a conversation almost with each other. I've heard of that one, Gray. I I don't I can't remember what it did, but I have heard of that one. Yeah. Why am I going down here? Orbital flight engaged. Why am I going down here? <laughs> I know there's one where you can mention about something about Donald Trump in Welsh and the result is yeah unmentionable where am I interact with the emplacement data link at Felice survey to find your targets location oh that's just wonderful yeah let's do that Sure, this is going to work. Well, this is going to be fun. I don't know if I'm going to be fired upon or I'm going to get d defense turrets coming at me. Just smooth out the glide a little bit until we get a bit closer. Now I think this is better with night vision off because if it's that orange and white pole thing you have oh please tell me they're not all bloody defence turrets and I've got a shed load of uh, defense turrets trying to catch me but I'm a little bit too fast for them I got what I wanted the Alexa murder court murder case what's that yeah I always have a feeling that they're listening <laughs> Three, two. <laughs> 
certain keywords. Right, what have we picked up then? Apart from a 900 credit bounty. We have acquired intelligence that says he'll be in the Kepri system. Collect your reward from me. Okay, so Kepri it is. Yeah, so this guy, there's another joke coming here and it's really bad. So this guy, this terrorist, I remember a piece of paper that he had and it had the letter, he had the letters C, 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 C and C written on it. And I thought that's the seven C's of Rye. Sorry, if you're a Queen fan you'll get that. Right, enough of the old puns and stuff. Let's make the jump to Capri. I'll take you to the Seven Seas of Rye. Alexa recordings. Recordings? Oh, wow. So they do record it then. What you, so if I, something I said a week ago to Alexa is recorded somewhere. You see, it's Big Brother. And we just go around, we just accept it all, don't we? It's like Facebook or all of these social media. Everything's tracked, everything's monitored. Everything you do is monitored, and then people get worried about the COVID vaccine being a microchip going into their arm. I don't want to be tracked. Oh, have you used Facebook? <laughs> a microchip in their arm. Jesus, God. And the earth is flat. Right, let's get this dude. It was listening to what was happening in the room. Jeez. But for what reason was it listening now? Does it just listen? Oh dear. That's, that's pretty unacceptable to have. It's like you're putting a bug in your own room. And the only advantage you get from it is that it tells you when your Amazon order is going to be here. Yeah, research and Marcus in purposes because... Yeah, you're, you are a, a valued customer. Well, get yourself... Get yourself an Alexa then, David. That'll track you. Well, it, it should, yeah, it's all, it's listening for the keyword, Alexa, isn't it, always? I'm gonna change my Alexa's name to shut up. So she was lying then, Alexa lied to me when she said she wasn't listening. Except for the trigger, she's only listening for the trigger word. Right, here we go. Let's see what we're going to face in here. Threat four. I reckon we can deal with it. Oops, it's a Corvi. Dangerous Corvi. Okay, Mamba, your best test yet. Even with the chaff going, the, cha the, the frag cannons can still hit their mark. There go your shields and now your hull's going to get eaten. Wow, 71% hull going in, 26% after the attack. Whoa! Jesus, that's crazy. Bye bye. I mean, that was easy. Mission objective complete. Target destroyed. Wow. <laughs> that was. 
a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. That was really that was really easy. The hole just got peppered. It was just finished. And that's the advantage of being at close range, I guess. Uh, right, let's jump down to here. My favourite system. I wish there was a nice space station here. Let's see if I can get Frontier to build one. Could make this uh, our base. But what's I mean? Obviously, there's no actually there's not actually any people actively listening to everybody because that's just not logistically possible. And who cares what someone's doing in the room? Oh, the man at number 37's farted again. Oh, play the recording back. That's the man I'm talking about isn't me, by the way. <laughs> I don't live at number 47. Yes. I'm very impressed with this little mamba. So out of my medium sized ships, that I would call it medium, the, um, my, my plasma charged crate is really fun and so is this mamba. But it's been so long since I've used this that I've actually I've forgotten how good it was. I will never doubt you again, Mamba. But this build, or this kind of build on a slightly, on a ship with slightly more hard points, or a, you know, slightly bigger hard points, the combination frag with multi cannon build, I, I like this. I just wonder which ship would benefit the most from a build like this. Be one of the Alliance ships. I don't know, it depends on how many hard points that they can come with. What if the guy murdered his wife with the Alexa? And Alexa can say, well, I don't remember anything up until... <laughs> oh, I, rem I remember everything up until he picked me up and then... was no longer a credible witness. Can you imagine going to prison because of your Alexa though? Jesus. It's the worst 30 quid he ever spent, or however much it costs. Are we up here or are we around the corner? There it is. fly through the thing again. I will go this way instead, go on the other side of it. I've been doing some weird landings today. Come on, man, but settle down. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. That was a cool little mission, I like that. Going down to a planet's surface to hack the information to find out where he is and then go get him. That's kind of cool. But after all this time, all these years, I still miss the Rubigo slave smuggling missions that they stole from us. Frontier did. Right, biotechs. How am I doing on those? Not very good at all. Only four. I don't need the money, but I need the biotechs more, and I'll take those. Awesome. Biomechanical conduits. I don't think I've ever used those. Or boron. Um, yeah, biotechs. I used to do that. I remember spending time once. Just, I think I just did a session in Elite for a couple of hours. 
and I just did missions that rewarded Biotech Conductors 5, you know, because it was a nice quick way to, to get them. This one is 12 century skimmers, but anything that had that reward, and I would just go for it, and it was, it's, I built them up quite quickly. Uh, nothing here. I don't know whether you need to be allied to get missions with those, do you? No, nope, you clearly don't. There's another one. Wet work. Oh, where am I going? But now, I have a bounty on me, do I not? Yep, I have a bounty on me. Crimson State Group. Can I cash that in here? Probably not. So I need to find the nearest. No, this one. <laughs> Services. I need to find the nearest. Uh, what? What's it called? Those things. Hey, Saskia. I'm still here. Yeah, still here for the moment. Winding up. Interstellar factors. Yay! No, we me. Knowing you. Uh -huh. Oh, ER8 got one. There is one, because a lot of these you'll find they are platforms. Um, but I do have one in my bookmarks where it is a interstellar factors, but it's a high pop system. So it's got a space station. Let me see if I can find it, just in case any of you guys want uh, are interested in it. So I'm looking for interstellar factors large this one so the system you want is this one lhs 346 and in fact that's the one i might go to because that one is here macarthur gateway and they have the interstellar factors right there so if you're in a large ship and you need to go to interstellar this is where you need to go because all the other ones that were on that map the green ones most of those are going to be just platforms. So let's just go there, clear ourselves of any wrongdoing, hang, hand in the data, and that'll be it. Four and a half hours. Yikes. Engines engaged. not to like about this ship. It's really good. I can't remember what the zoom... Oh, there we go. Yeah, lovely. If only they had a, a frag cannon equivalent of the plasma slug, where you could just... Um, I, although I say that, I don't know what the synthesis is like on, on the frags. How costly they are. Because then you could just sit in for quite a, a long while. I mean, I made, what, nearly 7 million there, or 7.2 million? Yeah. See what it's like. Fuel scoping. Fuel scoping. So small. Oh. Is it small or large? Frag cannons. Here we go. So nickel, carbon, sulfur. But it's cost of four, three, and two. So I've got 57 reloads. But I'm pretty stocked up on them. And it's all common stuff. So if you go to a material trader. You can restock up on those, I would say, fairly bloody easily. So yeah, it's not too bad. As long as you're stocked up on those three basic items, elements, then you're good to go. You know, when your frags run out, you can just re redo them on site. Imagine premium though, eh? 
Wow. Premium. Yeah, imagine just doing my cutter. Just filling it all up with premium frag. And then... Oh, God. So, premium, eight zinc, seven reloads. I, I can probably do... I can probably reload it maybe twice then. Yeah, antimony's the one though, isn't it? Chim Chim Chiru. And the standard one, I've got three, two, three, one and two. So I'm 34 reloads of those. This is a lot easier. I tell you what though, the, the, the basic is fair enough because there's these frags have got plenty of power as they are. You know, they're pretty devastating as they are. I, I can only imagine what they would be like with 30% damage on each weapon and then oh let me just switch back over here and then you have four of them so that's you're essentially having 120% more damage right so it's like having an extra frag cannon and you notice two of the frag cannons are large and two of them are small but still bloody effective. I wonder about going for a... going for a... take the multi-cannon out and put a class 4 frag and then make the two smaller ones multi-cannons. Would that work anywhere near as well? I, I don't know. A multi-cannons... two multi-cannons instead of one, but they're only small. Mm, I don't know. Perhaps not. But the frag cannons, when they let go, Maybe an efficient beam with thermal vent would be nice. Keep my ship cool while I'm hammering away with the frags. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're very effective, there's no doubt. But to find a nice balance between frags and maybe another weapon. One that's really useful on shields and pretty good on hull. And then you've got the frags which are pretty good on shields and devastating on hull. Oh, I couldn't get repaired, uh, Saskia. That was damage that I, I sustained by being foolish. I was boosting around and with a 600 meter per second boost, it was inevitable that I would handshake an asteroid. And I did. But MacArthur Gateway will be my last stop and I should be able to repair here, no problem. I couldn't repair in LA. That's the thing with that system we were in, um, L258-146. You've got two stations, One's got repair but no rearm, and one's got rearm but no repair. And if you want both, you have to land on Jones's progress. It's a weird little system, but it, it is full of res sites and stuff like that. It's got a couple of conflict zones and res sites are a plenty in there. I'll try and do somewhat of a normal landing, Rusty. And we get repaired. 46,000 credits. Welcome to the station, Commander. Thank you, Mr. MacArthur. Okay, so into Bow Graves, Nevelstein. So there's my fine. So I'm not wanted anymore for scanning that thing. And that's it. What's the other one? Is what's the difference between these two? Oh, mercenary facilities. Okay, well I don't have anything in there. 
So, apart from the CG, I should be clear. And I am indeed. Guys, that's it. We are four hours and 40 minutes in, which is crazy. Again, I have to break this habit at some point. Um, but yeah, I want more fun in this man, but it's brilliant. I like it. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for the day. So, long stream. But that's your weekly dose of Elite Dangerous. So I hope that makes up for the fact that there's none during the week. Um, but if I do any on Tuesday or something like that, maybe I'll record it and put it up. You know, for the topping up of the um, CG. Uh, but yeah. Alright everyone, so thank thank you all for being here. And for your chat your nice chat and some amazing likes. We've got 59, what do they call them? The likes, yeah, upvotes. I was going to say upvotes. Can we get 60? Can I get a 60th one? Is that, is that a lot to ask? If anybody can just smash one like button to hit the 60 and then I'll go. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was brilliant. Okay, we got a, we got a bit more. That's awesome. All right, so I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and it'll be nice to add that permit to my list. And uh, yeah, that's it. Combat again. We'll see if we can get some exploration done soon. Where we were going to go. So yeah, I'm gonna. I'll catch up with you, Andy, Andy K, and. Uh, I'll I'll let you know about the uh, relog. I'll give it a I'll give it a quick go and um, I'll let you know what happens. All right, everyone. So I'll I'll be on Discord for a little while if anybody wants to pop there, and whatever. And if you're on my Discord, don't be afraid to chat and type and put stuff in and whatever. Um, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe. Stay happy. And, yeah, that's it. Until next time, adios.